trigger warning, guys. I know we were talking about something very, very happy before, but like I said, this is the most gruesome crime. This is the Junko Furuta case. Oh, are you, are you good? Welcome back to another episode of Under the Influence, the sauciest podcast on the internet. I'm your host, Esther. And to my right... My name is Vitrap. My name is Jeremy. My name is Wu Talk. My name is Sahar. She's back again. I'm just a part time. My full given name is Jung Hong Vic. <laughs> what? And behind the <laughs> means, camera, we have. It means ancient warrior, wait, ancient hero of Vietnamese descent. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, is hard. that actually your full name? Yeah. That's hard. Can I say your full you name just, again? You just gave them your. <laughs> Jung Hong Vic. My full government given name is Jung Hong Vic. Jung, Stands Jung for Hong. ancient hero of Vietnamese descent. My father's name is Jung Hong something. I don't remember. It also means ancient hero of the four corners. Your dad. Hey, hey, this is what the heroes looked like back <laughs> in the day. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. That guy. I, I don't know how to figure it out. You're just going to have to squiggle it Damn. around every once in a while. You know um, how to... Or, or just Google it. Just say how, how to make sure computer stops sleeping. I don't know how to use <laughs> also, oh, that's what y'all trying to figure out. For having uh, for having a name. For having a name that means hero. I almost got killed by avocados this morning. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got uh, two stories related to that. Jeremy tried to it's assassinate Vit. Yeah, but that, hey, that's what you get for falling asleep in my episode. Test me again. I swear to God. Oh, There's on. actually avocados in that ramen. Yeah. That <laughs> hey, but anyway, so actually a fun story. So we went to, uh, before the podcast, we went to go get breakfast burritos for everybody. And we ordered them. And Thank this you, was after church. And we went and we were sitting there. And this dude rolls up and he looks kind of like, he, he, he looked kind of not, I don't want to say this because I don't want to offend him in case he listens, you know. <laughs> he looked like Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. What? <laughs> Say yes. his name again. Shia LaBeouf. Are you doing that on purpose? Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Oh my, my God. God. That's how you thought it was said? Shia LaBeouf. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, so this guy is standing in line and he's got like a, like a, he's got like a Brando facial hair situation where really heavy handlebar type mustache. <laughs> yeah. And then he's got like scruff and he's cut, co he's covered in tattoos. And, and do you guys know how tall Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf is? Probably like six feet. Oh, so you know he's pretty. The guy was like tall. I, I, I've never seen Shia LaBeouf in real life, so I was like, yeah. I was like, that guy looks like Shia LaBeouf, but he's like all tatted. Do you guys know he's tatted? Yeah. Oh, did Shia you? Shia LaBeouf no, is five I didn't. nine. Yeah. Also, why did five nine? I, dude, he looks. Shia LaBeouf is five nine. Dude, I, he, I was he, gonna say that. He looks. That's the thing. He looked very tall, so we were like, oh, that's not him. Hey, he looked. He looked like him. So then, so then I was like, yo, Google, like. Google pic recent pictures of him. And there's all these pictures of him. And there was one that gave away where this guy had a tattoo on his wrist that was like a fraction. And he had one on his sideburn. And I was like, okay, I see. There was a blurry photo of his wrist. And I was like, okay, he's got the same one on the wrist placement. I can't see what it is. And then she found one where it was the exact tattoo on the sideburn. Yeah. I was like, oh you guys my just God, saw that's Shia LaBeouf. And so he orders his breakfast burrito and he goes out and Way back, or I think it was like six months ago, or maybe like a year ago, he did this interview with John Rosenthal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched that, yeah. Super good interview. He's super vulnerable. Vulnerable. He talks about all the issues that he went through in his life and all the allegations and the drug addictions and all the problems that he... It's a craziest interview ever. And so I'm like, oh, I got to say something to him. So he's waiting outside and I walk over to him and he's a little standoffish because, you know, he's probably like people come up to him all the time, but I was just like, yo... The John, I, you know, I just listened to the John Rosenthal interview. Like, uh, thank you for being super vulnerable. That story, like your story, changed my life. Or it was like it was really impactful on me. And he was just like, he was like, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, thanks. And then I just walked away. Jeremy's a liar. You know what he said to him? Actually, he said, "I love even Steven That changed my life. <laughs> That's what Jeremy like, said. Beans, beans. <laughs> but um, but yeah, he was he. Yeah, that was it. You didn't ask for a picture. No, because I could tell, like, he's not the type of guy. If you listen to his interview, Sahar. Hey, I'm sorry. No. I'm not the biggest Shia LaBeouf fan on fucking earth, okay? Yeah, but he, if you kind of listen to him, like, he's just the type of person that he'd probably be annoyed by that mm -hmm. shit, you know? So I just wanted to say that I really appreciated that interview, and then I just walked away. And mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But it was really cool because I felt like a like a investigator at the time. We were just like, look at his tattoos, look at it. And then like the thing is on Google too, it didn't look like him. He looks very different. Uh-huh. Not in a bad way, but he just looked different, right? Mm-hmm. Not and in a bad way. No, he yeah. looks bigger, like buffer in person. Like a lot buffer. Yeah. And I, I and I don't know why, honestly, I thought he was like not as tall in person. So I, I honestly was like, that's not him. That's not him. I kept so telling five him. 5'9 is tall. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's tall. What I heard. That's tall. I think he's taller than 5'9 because I was standing next to him. Yeah, like, he I was, walked up no, to him. Yeah, no. he was tall. Google says he's 5'9. <laughs> Google never lies. You're absolutely right. <laughs> and you know who else never lies? Vitz Doctor, who said he's 5'9. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Google is height. Vitz height's like 5'9. <laughs> and then underneath it is dash Vitz Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Sahar, what are you doing in town? Um, I'm just visiting. Oh, okay, no. I was actually, <laughs> why am I lying? I'm no, trying to break Okay, listen. So trying to give her an <laughs> underhand softball, and she just... <laughs> <laughs> My bad, guys. I ruined it. <laughs> but I was at um, Oceaga in Montreal this weekend, and then that was a great time. And then I have Montreal, she says it's so Canadian. The, r- the proper way? Montreal. I didn't Mon- say it like Montreal. that. Montreal? Montreal? Montreal. Montreal? I, we say Montreal in America. Yep. Montreal. Mont- Wait, real. one second. Did, Mont- did we not real. figure out how to not put this to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, I just got it. it. Just jiggle the mouse every once in a while. Why do they make it so complicated? You see why? Okay, wait, computers? so anyways. Okay, yeah, so I was at uh, Oceaga for three days, which is really fun. And then I just happened to get, basically I had Taylor Swift tickets for August 4th for the Beloved Eras tour. But then Oceaga ended up happening that same time. And I was like a free trip. So I was like, ugh, I need to go. So I traded two of my tickets for the August 7th show, which is the day after Oceaga. So literally I took a flight from Montreal at 6 a.m. on the Monday to here. And then I had the Taylor Swift concert that night. And then I went the next night too. So wow. busy, so stressful. Wait, but just explain to me why Taylor Taylor Swift has this effect on you where, like... <laughs> Listen. Yeah, okay. like... Exp- so I've I'm not like- obsessed with any artist like that. I, I get excited by artists. I mm-hmm. think I'd love to see them live, but I'm not, like... Taylor Swift has, like... Her, her, Swifties, Swifties are, are psychotic. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've been a fan since I was, that. like, seven. Oh, you're right. Yeah, no, trust me, they'll eat you Cut. for that. Yeah, All right. Yeah. For yeah. that? Yeah. No, it's genuinely. It's a term of endearment. Oh, um... <laughs> I've been, like, a Taylor fan since I was, like, seven years old. Like, she was, like, the first artist that I ever kind of got into. And it kind of became, like, a comfort thing for me my entire life. And then, like, when I got, like, bullied, it was, like, at that same time, 1989 had come out. So it was, like, that's what I was listening to the entire time. So she's just kind of been, like, a constant thing that's always been there. Like, so it's, like, you know... I've yeah. never really got over it. I like her music. I like her as a person. I think she's a great role model. Um, yeah. You, and I feel like I grew with her. Like, I grew up with her kind of thing, you know? Do you think that... So, there's also a lot of, like, drama around her. Mm-hmm. And do you feel like it's not... All, like, if there's constant drama around a person, mm-hmm. then it makes me think that that person is also part of the problem. What would you say? Okay, what drama are you talking about? Or? Like, relationship Relationships. Drama. Okay, well, if anyone Also, knew, music industry drama. Yeah. I just she's a cutthroat businesswoman. Very much, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think she's just very successful. And when women are, like, too successful, that's when you become, like, this easy target for, like, anything to happen. Mm-hmm. And, m- like, men in the industry will try to do things to, like, undercut you a little bit or do things to bring you down. Because, like, she is, like, easily the most successful woman in music right yeah. now. Even one of, I would, I would say one of the biggest artists, the biggest artists right now, that's just my opinion. I don't know how much. Don't yell at me, please. But that's no. She is I, no. That's facts. Right? Like, her toy no one, numbers are insane. No one is doing what she's so, doing right somebody now. Somebody look that up. No, she. She's gonna be. So there was that TikTok video that went super viral about mm. how like Taylor Swift literally changes the yeah. economy, economy when yes. she goes on tour because. Every hotel sell, sells out. The restaurants fill up. She's bringing 40,000, 50,000 people multiple mm-hmm. nights in a row, selling out a stadium. Like, take this in. So a lot of her stadium shows are, like, open stadiums, right? Like, there's no covers. For those shows, I forget what city it was. It might have been, like, Philly. She had, like, 20,000 people outside of the venue who didn't even have tickets, who just went just to hear her live from the outside. Wow. And that's, there's, like, any show with an open stadium, people are doing that, like, Hundred like up to fifty thousand people are just outside. No one else does that. No other artist has fans that are doing that. Like yeah. I know other people will use the weekend, for example, as someone who's like up there. And I agree, he's very successful. Nah. But I don't, he's not even doing that. You know, like yeah, I put him in those. Yeah, he's he doesn't have super fandom. Yeah, like no one will murder for the weekend, mm-hmm. but people will murder for Taylor Swift. Dude, yeah, she's such a. I saw YouTube videos and she's like 
a really really good performer she's and so she's good so engaged like it, she just keeps you engaged Even like it's just if you look at her early performance days before she was selling at like stadiums and stuff, she's always had such a good stage presence. Mm-hmm. Like from what I've seen, even like when she was like a nobody, she just has this way of being able to like command a room. And I'm like, mm-hmm. this is why you're so good. She's yeah. a superstar. Like she's a boss woman she for is. sure. She's a superstar for sure. Uh-huh. Uh, and I met her mom at the concert again. What? The second time really? Around. Met her mom? Yeah. That's is she wild. nice? She's so nice. I met her one time in 2018 for the Reputation tour. And my encounter with her was really quick. And it was just like, I was like, I love you so much. She was like, uh, she's like, you look great. Thank you, sweetie. Like, whatever. Yeah. You said uh, I love you to her mom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a question for a, for a Swifty. Mm-hmm. Why did she have a country accent and then nine years ago it disappeared? And oh, she never her. talked about it. Listen, I don't know about all that. All right. I think she was just trying to make it in the country land. She's mm. code switching. Yeah, Wait, yeah. so she Drake wasn't does it, very Drake cold? does it all the time. Oh, all these, all these people. Wait, hold on. So she wasn't yeah, very cold. Yeah, but Drake's country? a man, so it's okay. She grew up in like not like she didn't grow up somewhere. I forget where she was. It was like Hendersonville or some shit. Like she didn't grow up a place where there was supposed to be an accent. But let her be, okay? She was being a businesswoman. Sometimes you got to act the part a little bit. She was trying to be make vulture, it country music. Vulture. Hey, where, where is Taylor <laughs> Swift from? She's, uh, you're right, Hendersonville. Oh yeah. What's well, no, the last no, song? She's from West Reading, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And. They don't got accents there? Or? I don't think so. Okay, I see. should not have country accents in <laughs> Pennsylvania. I have another see, question. Yeah. Taylor Swift has 400 songs about men leaving her. Zero mm. songs about sucking Okay, dick. I've seen this. <laughs> First of all, that, that's a tweet. He stole that from a tweet. Never forget that. Second of all, she actually does have some slutty songs, okay? Like what? Like what? Give, us slutty, yes? really? give us slutty Taylor Swift bar Dress? right now. Yeah. Dress? Okay, um... Um, say my name and everything just stops. I don't want you like a best friend. Only about this dress so you could take it off. Oh, take it off. oh, oh my God! So oh slutty. Cover your ears. Yeah. No, but the thing is, I feel like people forget that she's a grown ass woman sometimes, yeah. Yeah. and they're just like, oh my God. And you know? false no, she god. makes music for like teenage girls. Yeah. So. No, Why? She, no, false no. god is slutty too. She talks about riding. Riding. It's it's coded in there, but she's riding. Okay? She's yeah. riding horses. No, it says the she's altar. A girl. The altar is yeah. my hips. In the song, she's like, I'm like riding a huge up. cock, <laughs> <laughs> not a horse cock. <laughs> uh, wait, why hasn't she? Have you ever had seltzers? Wait, is this like the regular one? Oh. These ones. Ah. Let's try this one. Okay. This was only 90 calories. Nice. How do you like that? Much better. Pog. There you go. Do you have just the lychee one in a box? Ooh, not at the moment. We have the 12 pack. Yeah. yeah. What? Oh. Is that oh. what yeah. This is our baby. I just like it because it's light, you know. Oh, yeah, that is so mm-hmm. nice. Refreshing, yes, yes. Yeah, this new one and the lychee one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll try one. Oh, Thank perfect. You. Thank you so much. Thank you for trying. Thank you. Why isn't she headline Coachella? Like, does she have some beef with them? So, I don't know. People are saying that they think she's going to do it next year. I think she might be even a little too big to do Coachella because, like, yeah. that's insane. Like, Harry Styles was insane, but, like, Taylor fans, I'm telling you, like, if... She had that Coachella, I would go. The only reason I wouldn't camp out for her, a seat there is because I've seen her so many times already. But, like, the fans, I'm telling you, they would go camp the minute those doors open and they would and it would already be filled up. I'm Why crazy. doesn't she just do Taylor Fest? She was supposed to do that, but then um, it got canceled because of COVID. Oh, It was wow. called Lover Fest, yeah. Wow. Uh, but, so another reason why I think she hasn't done Coachella, nothing confirms this, but... Um, She's, like, really big in, like, the LGBTQ community. Like, she put out You Need to Calm Down, which is, like, an LGBTQ song, like, whatever. And she's always been about, like, gay rights and stuff. And I'm pretty sure Coachella actively donates, like, anti-LGBT stuff. Low-key. So that could be part of it. I'll say this. Follow the money. She's tied with Live Nation, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, if you really look at who the investors of Live Nation are, the banks, like, everybody is probably, like, a a staunch conservative... What is it? Conservative that wants to, like... You know, support the the right side. So like, that 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 argument always like is like, come on now. Mm-hmm. Not everybody. There's always going to yeah. be somebody involved with you with your business that isn't necessarily like, like perfectly morally. Yeah. I think she's gonna do uh, the Super Bowl though uh, next year. That's what I'm Damn, thinking. Probably. They wanted her to do it last year, but because she hasn't released all her re-recordings yet, she was like, I'm not doing it until then. That yeah. would be hilarious if the Super Bowl tickets all sold out as Swifty fans who didn't give a fuck about the game. That'd be they so just, fire. Yeah, I think yeah, they, they, I think they, they would, were gonna though, have Lizzo thing. do the Super Bowl and they just dropped her like yesterday. 
They're gonna have Lizzo do the Super Bowl. I, I saw an That's article cool. saying Lizzo she got is not famous enough for the I Super agree. Bowl. I agree. You need really big people. <laughs> you need really big people. What do you whoa. mean? Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you trying to say? What? Like really famous people <laughs> to do okay. the Super oh, Bowl. Easy. Like, <laughs> hey, y'all heard it. It wasn't us. No, like, I don't, like, Lizzo's doing well, but she oh, doesn't but compare she, to, like, Rihanna or The Weeknd or, like, the people who have been headlined. Like, Lizzo's hey, not even... The, the Weeknd Jonas doing Brothers, the, the Super Bowl? He did. Every song he, is... He did do he it. He did do the Super Bowl. Yeah. Where were you? Remember he did the, um... The, did he, he do Oregon? He got, he got, he got like, stuck in the, the maze. It was one during his, like, mummy phase. Where it was, like, the gold lights everywhere. Where were you? He was not watching. That was, like, two years ago then. No way I knew that and was hooked in I stopped watching the Super Bowl, like, four years ago. Me too. Yeah. Wait, question. Did we talk about the Lizzo thing? That one's very interesting. Gotta be careful. Yeah, I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. Okay. Let's just, just know she is not a good person. We don't have to cut it. Oh, okay. Why yeah. would we cut? We she no anything. good. Um, she no good. <laughs> what, uh... I had one more topic. Oh. Wait, how much do Super Bowl tickets sell for? Oh, a couple lot. grand. Okay, because Taylor's reseller, you're looking at... 1800 for nosebleeds. <gasps> oh my for god, for nosebleeds, but this wow. is like and she's resell. going to one like every two weeks. <laughs> yeah, dude, and, and the thing, too, I is only went to four. Okay, I only went to four shows this for the she, she has spent five figures on Taylor Swift. <laughs> I actually haven't. People I don't understand, spent... she's selling out stadiums yeah. multiple nights in a row, every city in the LA. She did 70, it was 70,000 people, and she did six shows. That's dude. so insane. Coachella, yeah. the day attendance is like 120,000 every yeah. single day. So put that in perspective. No, like I. I don't think Coachella can handle the the g amount of people she yeah. bring in. Yeah, that'd be so wild. The amount of power this woman holds. I also saw the stadium and people look like ants. There's way too many people. When I was I like, "Holy crap!" Was in the nosebleeds. Literally, she's like that big. Like I'm not kidding. She's like literally that. Tiny. You're having fun, huh? And it's still fun. Yeah, because she has so many visuals and she has like light up bracelets and literally like mm. through the songs, like during Reputation era when that's happening, like the lights will form like a snake shape and the snake will be like slithering around mm. through the crowd. Okay. Or like during cool like Love fuck. Story, it'll turn like into hearts, like little hearts. Too. So it's a really beautiful visual thing. But if you want to actually see her, nosebleeds are not where to be because <laughs> you will not, you can't even process that she's a real person because she's literally that Is big. Does it sound good? Because I'm imagining the nosebleeds, you just hear people off key just screaming. No, it's actually really good. I'll show you guys yeah. videos, but it's genuinely a really good, really good time. And you uh, get to, you know, dress up as different eras for each show. Yeah. And <laughs> Wait, what time. did you dress up as? Okay, so opening night, I dressed up as Antihero Taylor. Mm -hmm. Second night, Anti what? Antihero. What does that, what does I that look like? She has a song called Antihero. Yeah, I love that and song. It's her anti. outfit and the music video. Yeah. Anti. Is it anti? It's or can you say caramel. anti or anti? Yeah, and, and okay. does she say anti? That's no, what I, that's yeah, the I pronunciation. She says anti, no? She says anti. For the anti -hero. Anti -hero. Yeah, it's anti. For well, she says it like that. Whatever. Wait, but uh, before before we continue on to the real episode, so the other day I was doing a tasting at Bevmo in Irvine, and I just posted on TikTok. I was like, hey, if you want to come try nectar, I'm going to be standing here for seven hours, and if you have a friend who's never tried nectar, bring them, right? Because I want new people to try the drink. And um, it was... Well, it was dead in the beginning, and then towards the end, the, the video hit the algorithm, and people started mm -hmm. showing up. And this kid pulled up, and he was super excited, and he was like, dude, I work at Coffee Tomo right across the plaza. I saw your TikTok, and so I got one of my coworkers to like cover so I could come over here. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, that's super cool. He was super excited, and he was like, uh, he was like dude, I was like, how'd you find out about Nectar? He was like, well, it was actually Wu Talk, Bar Chemistry. He's like, because he was like- You're welcome. You're, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and he was like, uh, he was just like, yeah, I started following bar chemistry because I, I want to maybe get into bartending. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I have a, I have his mixology kit. Like, you know, I'm learning a lot from him. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's super cute. And uh, then, then he, so he left. And then like two hours later, when I was like packing up or towards the end, he showed up again. I saw him coming at, coming at me, and he had the bar chemistry mixology kit in his hands. And, and he then was like, Jeremy Yo. stole it from him. And he was yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then he beat his yeah, ass. He said, like, let me see that. And and, the, and he also had this Sharpie and he was like, yo, do you mind signing this for me? I was like, of course, but wouldn't you rather have like Wutok signature on this? He's like, I'll get all your signatures eventually. I want all your guys' signatures. So I was just like, oh, I'll just take it. I'm going to see them on Sunday. Uh -huh. So I have this, Wutok. Please, please sign. Hey, shout out. What's his name? Brendan. Brendan. Shout out, Brendan. I'm gonna send you the pink one too. I'm gonna get your address somehow. Wow. And, uh, and wow. some super super bonds. That's a, crazy. I have a story for you guys too, actually. Brandon, wait, real quick. Brandon Coffee Tomo. So support his family's business. Uh -huh. That's crazy. Do you have wow, a mixology kit? Sure. I don't want one. Oh, okay. Well, I want one. I never got one. 
<laughs> he, hey, also, look at the number. He was very proud. Look at the number that he bought it out of 500 kits. Yeah. Damn. Should I put on lipstick and give it a Yes. 1,000. I told... Absolutely. Hey, you do it with a Sharpie. Yeah, gold Sharpie. No, I'm not going to do it because then I'm going to sit here with lipstick on my face. But he also wanted... um, He also wanted you guys to sign it too. Um, Please sign. What if I just say no? Sorry, Brendan. You know know who the nice ones are here. Now you know. He's showing you his true colors right now. And also, just for the hell of it... Brando, Eddie, and Sahara. I want you guys to sign it too. He's Imagine gonna, he's yeah, sitting there like, no. <laughs> <laughs> too fucking bad. Yeah. He would get like sad if we signed it. No, you know, no, no. Fuck? You guys, I think he would be excited. Okay. They just signed like a like the back. Yeah, in, that, <laughs> the inside cover. We signed, like, no, 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 no. Uh, Brando should just take it to the so bathroom and just leave his meat. meat print on it. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like a hand. What? You could only be the only one that makes meat jokes? Why do I, I want to make meat I'm jokes? I'm laughing. I'm the one oh, laughing. Okay, Why okay. are you getting mad at me? <laughs> Wait, do you guys actually want to sign it for him? Uh, does he want us to? Because I feel yeah, like he would get sad that we did that. Who drew all over the fucking thing? Whose is that? It's my signature. What does it say, though? Why is it so huge? It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> he made it so big. It's my signature. Motherfucker yeah. wrote across the whole mixologist Yo, low, kit area. Low, low key... Esther's a pretty cool, like the C Esther's through so it. Esther's so pretty. It kind oh, of Esther's is pretty cool. Yeah. Esther I made it up twice. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Esther's not done. What's wrong with mine? Wow, your E is Yours so doesn't even cute. say fucking anything and you just scribbled like across the You can the see the V and, and you can the see heart. the T. Yeah. 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 It, looks like, it looks like He's chocolate. like, wait a minute, I want to put a heart there too. Yeah. That's the last time I tried to be cute. Yeah, Sahara, would you like to sign? Should I? Yeah. I'm sorry, Brandon or whatever. Brandon. 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 Coffee Tomo. Should I, should I sign the side so it's not no, with just the sign main wherever. people? Yeah, just. Oh, okay. Sahara, but I and also want to And, and Brando, if you would like to sign as well. You're the only person who cares about my story. Sahara is like a bench player for Under the Influence. We call her up off the bench whenever she's in town yeah. to, to, to help us. So it's She a comes pleasure. in game six. Yeah. Me blowing on the mic because I was trying to like blow on the mic. Cover your Wait, where's your signature? Be careful, okay? Right here in the top corner? This one? No, I'm talking about hers. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is you. How does that say Sahara? It's like. Uh, S squiggly D squiggly. Yeah. That's what mine is. <laughs> Yours is like it's a B squiggly T squiggly. Yeah, yeah, everyone's like, get over here. Um, this is like a heart monitor. What, what were you going to say? Okay, so when I was at, I think I, I told Vit already about this, but when I was at uh, Oshiega, the last night my friend and I, um, we were, um, Ooh, how you boot. guys say, extracurricular. Oh! Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, going so, for the extra credit, baby. Yeah, so we were in the mood to just like adventure. So we were just like roaming the streets of Montreal, like going to random like bars and shit. And then this group of guys just stops me and they're like, yo, that's so hard. And I'm like, oh, hi, like whatever. And they're like, and then his one friend's like, who? Like, who's that? And then they're like, she's the girl that's always on um, Under the Influence. <laughs> that's like, right. They're like, how do you not know her? She's always on Under the Influence. And I was like, I also do my own social media thing. But, uh, you know, four million on TikTok, but whatever. Who's counting? No, 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 we put you on. Yeah. <laughs> you should be thanking us. And then they wanted a picture, but I was like, bro. <laughs> she has, she's the biggest one out of yeah. all of us. <laughs> yeah. like, I was just, I want to say that. Were you on Under the Influence like once or twice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also got like 700k on YouTube and 4 million on TikTok, please. Oh, congrats, Wait, what's your, what's your audience split though? Like, is it is it like even or is it mainly mm. girls? On TikTok, it's about 65% girls, the rest guys. On YouTube. Whoa, 65? Oh, that's a lot of guys. I know, right? Girls. Yeah, what's the no, but guys? 45% guys 35%. still. 35%. It's still a lot. That yeah. is still that's a lot. That's a ton. No, but it's because of my old videos, which were like the um, guy secrets, the stuff y'all mm. know me from. Um, but now, but like if you look at my individual video views, it's always like 90% girls. On YouTube, I'm very female based. So I'm like 88% girls. Mm. Yeah. On Instagram, I think I'm 60 40. 60 I want to get you know when you're, when you're hot, you just get guy followers, unfortunately. I want to mm. check mine. I haven't <laughs> done mine in Dude, a while. I want to I wanna be at the point where I have way more girl <laughs> followers. I, because you just get more brands that I want to work with. Yeah. Yeah. Buy my account. <laughs> 72% yeah. female, 28% male. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. Hey, if you're right, we should all look up our, our splits. Hey, you if know you're the crazy thing, though? Look my, up yours, Esther. Mine used to be 95% women, 5% men. <laughs> How'd you get so really? many guys? Huh? How'd you, like, grow your guys so much? Because I started oh. becoming misogynistic. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like one... No, not like that, but... Hey, if you're a girl, follow Esther, please. Help her get the brand deals. If you're a girl, follow me too, please. I they only want to sell me. They only want to girl, give me dildos. Unfollow me. Yeah, if you follow, if you follow Sahar from this show, always comment on all our posts. Oh, sing, mine is even. Sing out. you on Under the Influence. Mine is 56% women 
on my personal Instagram. And then, let's see, bar chemistry. I think one of the guys was hitting on me, too. I don't know. I was definitely extracurricular link. Let's go! UTI followers always shooting your shot. Yeah. <laughs> no, Instagram? he literally just kept going. He's like, um, you look great, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just kept staring. And then he, he said it like three times. He's like, no, I'll seriously, you look too. great. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe you guys. Did it work, did it work on no? you? Maybe he was zesty. No, and my tits were kind of out, so I was like, mm, that's the only reason you're saying that. Not, not <laughs> like, oh, and I'm also 56% women on bar chemistry. That's well, you crazy. guys all have more. I only have 22% women and 77.8 men. On well, well, I could imagine why a man yeah. would no, try to no. follow you. Yeah. It's even worse on Instagram. <laughs> oh, let me see my. He has 70 TikTok. on Instagram. That was TikTok? Yeah. The, yeah. Oh, what? That one was TikTok. Dude, ours is literally changed, yeah. switched. I told you, man, I'll buy my account. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. That'd be so funny. On bar chemistry TikTok, it is basically 50 50, 52% wow, that's women. That's perfect. Do you guys, I only get like, they only want to work with me um, if they're like a dildo company or a BDSM. <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> listen to me. I'm Never. Just like, Never work with those companies because once you do, every other brand is not going to want to work with oh, them. Of course, of course, of course. Do you know how much money vibrator companies have offered me to work with them? But mm -hmm. I've always been like, I'm not doing that because you're going to burn like every other fucking bridge. So mm -hmm. don't do Smart. It. Smart. Very true. How much have they offered you? Like, I don't know, like... K? Ish, yeah, but I'm just like not... It's still not worth it. Okay, wait, yeah, maybe let's bleep that. Toy. Let's bleep that number, please don't. My personal TikTok is 64% women. Mine wait, but you guys, 54. be honest. This is Nectar you're account. Pretty, you're pretty even. Hasn't my, my Instagram changed a yeah. lot? As yeah. in, like, I don't post oh. super sexy pics anymore, right? Be honest. You do post more uh, Like, motherly. more calm, like, more calm. You gotta do, like, things. if you want more girl... I mean, you're doing it now, but you're making girl-centric content, yeah. like, relatable to women content. Because, yeah. like, just a picture of you looking good, whether it's, like, thirst trappy or not, like, it's gonna attract male followers. Esther, mm -hmm. you know what helps grow a girl following? Post your interests. I'm posting about Taylor Swift all the time. The summer I turned pretty, all these things. People love that. They love that. It's got me so many girl hey, followers. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Esther's interests will attract more men. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling. Dinosaurs. Weightlifting. <laughs> Esther, start pretending What's you like other also, things. You watch a lot. <laughs> I like makeup, guys. What do you she's mean? Like, I like makeup. I like. Uh, she's like, this is how you cover up your bruises yeah. from kickboxing practice. <laughs> Isn't one of your interests also a uh, crime? Should we like start this episode? Oh, yeah, ever? yeah. Oh. <laughs> it turned into a Taylor Swift episode. <laughs> As it should. All right, guys. We'll cut the first part. <laughs> oh. All right, y'all. So I'm a little shaky to tell you guys this episode because it's literally one of the most gruesome crimes. Um, this episode is going to be a little different because I'm going to be going into full detail of a crime, um, a case. And then after we're going to do discussions. But what happened? We got we to got, we got plug everything. Oh, yeah, for sure. Go for it. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, that's been supporting Nectar. Like, when I was out in the stores, the, the store this week, it was really cool to meet all of you. We launched the 12-pack of Pog. That's going to be launching in BevMo's and Total Wines very, very soon. We're working on variety pack number two, which you guys have the opportunity to pick the fourth flavor. So I'm going to pop the, the digits on the screen. If you... If you are in Texas, please support us at HEB. That'll help us a lot. A bunch of you have been texting me when the stores are out of stock and being like, yo, went to the store. It was on your store locator. There's nothing there. That helps a ton because then I go to my distributor. I say, yo, you got to add more stores. At the, you got to add more boxes to the store and whatnot. So it helps a ton. Thank you for everybody supporting. Hawaii, get it everywhere. California, get it everywhere. Use our store locator. It's in the description. I love you all. And we're planning something very, 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 very fun for Hawaii. So stay tuned. And something in LA. So Super pumped. It's coming. We're going to get drunk. We're going we're gonna to spit in everyone's mouths with nectar. Can we even do that in Hawaii anymore? What, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mouth? No, no, no. no. Maui, Maui, Maui was what? Different Maui was the, the thing that was oh, yeah, and, uh, affected. And very, don't worry, we're very gonna do tragic. Something. Yeah, very tragic what happened, but we're gonna also work a way to support the local. We're gonna uh, be cooking up situation. something. Yeah. I thought you were gonna. Guys we're, already gonna we're already working on it. We're already working on it. No, no, no. They don't give a fuck about our love. Their house is burned down. Yeah, don't worry. We're putting together something. Send them some Sending love and donations. Yeah. Um. Also, Super Bonsai is available. You guys have been supporting quite a lot. The reviews are insane. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you're trying it, if you've bought it, you tried it, leave an honest review, even if you're going to roast me, because I'm very confident that it 100% worked for you. So check the reviews. You guys have been really supporting with that. Um, link is in the description. If you give us your phone number, you get 20% off. 100% natural way to stop your hangovers. If you love the show, so supporting our products is the best way to support. We appreciate it. And the oh, last... And, uh, you're going to do fourth one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
the UTI bonus content platform. So we have now have a subscription platform. So this is where we're posting bonus content, Dollar Short Therapy. We're also going to be shooting stuff that isn't like a typical podcast episode. So I don't know which camera to look at. There's too many. I'm just like look swinging at, my look head. At, look at that one. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you for everybody that's been subscribing there. Get us to 1,000 subs, and then Talk is going to do something very, very special. What? What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Remember the thing? What's the thing? Where you take your... You're like, yo, I want Jason Love to come over. <laughs> and then, uh, Who's Jason Love? No, we're not going to, uh, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, sh- hey, don't worry don't about, worry it. about huh? it. It's better that, hey, that's hey, a good go sign. Research that's later. Go no, research. no, 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 it's a good sign that you don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, they did this to me yesterday. Sahar is not for the streets, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Not um, for the streets. What the fuck was I going to say? Oh, the live stream. Oh, yeah. Uh, Vit is now live streaming every Wednesday, hosting wow. his own show. Yay, good job, Vin. Yeah, everyone is there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like clinging on to dear life right now. Yeah, so Jeremy tried to poison Vit earlier. I, don't know, I think we briefly brought it up. Yeah. I don't think we touched on it as much as we should have. So I am very allergic to avocados, and I accidentally ate some avocados. So Not prob- accidental. For the next 20 minutes, I'll probably be a little bit more quiet than usual because I, like, I genuinely like feel high right now. I don't know why you guys didn't let him get the Benadryl. He no, should have no, just no. got it anyway. Yeah, I should have gotten it. Yeah. I don't know why. Because Benadryl, there, Benadryl will hand. take me out. It, it would have it it made yeah. him worse, yeah. yeah. He's right. sleepy. He's very sleepy. Are you if my, my body's just recovering from like trying to breathe. I'm trying to breathe. That's so concerning. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> Jeremy tried to kill Vit. No. I did. <laughs> you I did. Try. I there failed. You at least you admitted yeah, You're not even good no. at it. Oh, no. uh, Are you good? Okay. Oh. Good, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Did he just throw up on your carpet? Yes, he did. That's gross. Should we pause? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, we anyways. should definitely pause. Wait, that was so random. That came out of nowhere. Maybe you should have got the Claritin or something, like the non drowsy can, can we, um, from now on, go this way yeah, to the bathroom? Yeah, but I think... But, but, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, but you locked that door. Hey, so that's people, not locked today, though. I know, yeah. but people's habits are... That's what you go. get for locking the door. I'm about to just lock oh, this part. Oh, you do lock that yeah. door, yeah. That's what you get for locking the door, man. Why is it locked? Is it a lot I feel of- bad because he looked at me and was just like, just go. Because <laughs> he, he, he puked and then he, he looked at me he's like... And I was like, just go. Just go. Don't worry about it. Damn. I'm it was a lot of people a little bad. bit. Yeah, uh, he like sprinkled it. Yeah. That's not your fault. I do, dude. It's I, all his fault. Shut up. You would have forgotten no, too. J- I would Jeremy. never. Yeah, you Jeremy. would. You only Literally care about Literally never. It's an honest I know. I still thing. feel bad though. Yeah. Um, I just that shit was funny. <laughs> you said, "Hold up, let me get another bite." Because this makes me. This <laughs> he kept like, "Hey, hey, hey!" The funnier part that Eddie's trying to explain right now <laughs> is that Jeremy was like, "All right, fuck, I gotta go get him like medicine," but then. <laughs> Vit runs to the bathroom to try to like make himself throw up and then Jeremy's like alright hold on let me finish this burrito no 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 no, no. Like, I was taking it too there was one bite left I put some sauce on it it took three seconds and then I walked out the door <laughs> he, he ran he ran but he ran. it was yeah. just a funny visual of Jeremy visual. Like, I'm going I'm going pouring sauce carefully <laughs> on his burrito you good? Do you have anything? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, get cleaner. Oh, the, yeah. I feel bad because this, this is gonna make him throw up too. I think. Really? Well, just is just it give bad? give a it, for so? for warning. I don't know. It didn't make me nauseous, but it broke my heart. Okay. Here go. It made me nauseous. <laughs> no man. I never get nauseous. Actually. So, hey, for this episode too. Maybe you should keep a bucket on him or something too. No, we're just gonna send him that wanna, direction. I don't, him, I don't want him to dirty my buckets. We'll talk. There's more important things in this world than dirtying a bucket. Okay. My buckets are special to me. Oh my god! <laughs> I like. No, I'll, I'll give him a bucket if he really needs one. Or like just like a like, little bowl or something. You sound like you, you sound like you're like I'll give him these hands. <laughs> <laughs> or even just like hey, a what, bag. Yeah, look at that just little white bags. bucket right there. Yeah, that's what I'll give yeah, him. Just a bag, y'all. What? Oh, I said just a bag is fine, not a bucket. It's True. Yeah. Just give a bag. Just a bag, y'all. Just hey, to we, we tie the bag around his ears <laughs> like like a horse. Yeah. We did that to him when, when we went to Texas. Oh yeah. Yeah. This man cannot. Um, Vit loves throwing up. Yeah. He threw up. He threw up from laughing too hard what? at Jeremy's joke once. <laughs> Vodka? Yeah. No, do you just use d- detergent have, and water. Do yeah, hold on. I have deter- like a stain remover. Yeah, but also laundry detergent and water. By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have that disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. 
There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. Mr. Brando, while Vit is cleaning up his puke. Are um, we using all this? No, no, no. We're going to cut to right here. <laughs> Why? What happened? While Vit is cleaning up. No, we'll keep like some of that. He wasn't yeah. paying attention at all. He... <laughs> while Vit's cleaning up his puke, how was your trip? Why were you gone from the past couple episodes? You're looking tan. Uh, yeah, I'm tan. I was uh, taking a little vacation um, to unwind, and I went to Greece and Italy. Um, what part of Greece, though? You didn't go to like Mykonos. Mykonos. Why do you say it so weird? <laughs> he says everything weird. Mykonos. He goes Mykonos. Like what? Say Marina Del Rey again. Marina Del Rey. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Greece. Greece is so many islands that trying to get to Mykonos or all these like spots would be really hard. It takes a lot of flights and a lot of ferries and stuff. So, we went to our friend's house in Skopelos, and that is where they filmed Mamma Mia. So everything there is very Mamma Mia centric, and they won't let it die. What, what that, is my, that, I don't know what that means. It was a it was a big musical movie mm. with Meryl Streep mm. from like 2008, and they're still all about it. It's like it funds their economy over there. But <laughs> um, like people go visit Scopolini yes. to go see the Scopolini, set. yeah. They well, go to Scopelos for... Scopolini! <laughs> oh, uh, my bad, my bad. That sounds like a fucking pasta. <laughs> um, yeah, it was great. The, it's crazy how blue the water is there. Like, you yeah, could literally okay? see all the way to the bottom. Yeah. You can see all the fish, coral, everything. Give him... Is there... Do you guys have ice cubes? Like, when you're nauseous and stuff, it's like an ice You know cube. what you're supposed to Wait, don't give him gum to chew. You want, like, mouthwash? Al sniffing alcohol is actually good. Oh, he for has you. mouthwash. Sniffing alcohol Wait, so does what? You're helps with nausea. nausea. Wait, no so way. No, not like alcohol, like, like rubbing beverage, alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Okay. Wait, yeah. so you're saying you the water was super blue? Yeah, the water was super <laughs> blue. <laughs> I was trying to tell a story. Sorry. No, there wasn't there wasn't much of a story. Well, <laughs> what are you gonna say? What you told us? Um. <laughs> yeah, in Greece, I, I want to be nice about it, but it was just. Don't, you don't got to be nice about it. This is some evil they're, they're, we're, we're discussing. First of all, they're very friendly people, but they were not the best to look at, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not what Wait, I thought Brando, you were for say. real? Yeah. They're not that cute, the people there? Well, also, I don't know if I was seeing tourists, you know? So it might have not been Greek people. Obviously, there's a lot of Italian people there, and I have a certain preference against Italians. Uh -huh. Against? You hate or? your own people? I'm just, I've never been attracted to an Italian person. So, me You're and my friends. You're pure Italian? Me and my friend. No, I'm Uzbekistani. Oh, oh king. <laughs> Hello, brother. <laughs> Hello, Hello, brother. brother. <laughs> she immediately pulls she, out like a greeting. <laughs> <laughs> the crazier story is she knows nothing about Uzbekistan. <laughs> so, I posted a picture in Greece next to a huge body of water, a big sea, and I tagged Uzbekistan. As I do, I always tag tag random locations <laughs> this was like one of 60 spots and she thought that i was actually there and i'm like there's not a huge body of water there like i don't know <laughs> my bad disrespectful i know that have you ever been i've never been no i'd oh. like to go one day but you know wait so what'd you do most of the days swim eat it was a lot of just swimming you would wake up and go swimming and then take a little break and then go back to swimming sounds like a job <laughs> It was cute. Sounds I would like love to see hired. beautiful blue water. And then in Italy, uh, I mean, Italy, I went to the... Oh, this is what happened in Italy. So my last name is from the south in Italy. It's from a place called Puglia. So we went to Puglia. And my last name comes from a small town outside of Bari called Valenzano. So we drove through Valenzano. And I did not know this. I, I knew where my last name comes from. 
but I didn't know. We drove by, and there's this alleyway, and on the alleyway, it's named my last name. Whoa. And my last name is super rare, even for Italians. What is so, your last name? Yeah, that, my last name was there. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I posted about it. It doesn't matter. My last name is Brandon Isio, so... Wait, wait, wait. What's your first name? Yeah, it's also Brandon Isio. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a first Brando name, Nicio. last name. Yeah, yeah. Brandon Isio, Brandon Isio. I feel like everyone thinks that Brando's name is Brandon and it's like a oh, nickname yeah. or something, but so it's just stupid. Not. Yeah. Wait, so so did you figure out why the street was there, who named it, who your great, 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 great grandfather is? No, Are I you didn't from really, royalty? I didn't really ask. No, it's, it's a, it was literally an alley. It wasn't even a street. <laughs> It was like <laughs> the peasants don't get alleys named after them. True. True. Okay, maybe I'm royalty there. Yeah, that's it was not- like the name of like the, the king's dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then it, and then I went to a Wait, ball. so wait, so you didn't find out the origin? What? Your name, your last name. What he do you just mean, explained origin? to you the origin. I told you where it comes from. No, I know, but like whose alley that was, why, like <laughs> whose <laughs> alley? <laughs> That's like going to La Cienega and be like, is Mr. La Cienega still no, here? I, like, no, but it's like, you know, really there's funny. probably, if it's a last name, there's probably some family lineage. It's like the Rockefellers, you know? The, the problem is it's a very rare last name and there's not many. The, the people that are alive, a lot of them are in the States, like in Illinois. And then there's not too many left in Italy, so. Whoa, you're a It'll rare breed. Die off. He's a shiny. And, and he ended his bloodline too. Yep. So. No, I have a brother. Blood. I have a brother. That's that's fifty percent of the chances. <laughs> yeah, he's going extinct. Imagine they have to collect the Brandonicios and bring them back to captivity. And this one, they're like, this one's not working. <laughs> <laughs> breed him more. <laughs> uh, just milking I, him like a cow, and he's just sitting he there like, like that, grinning. Because <laughs> like yeah. he would like it. And then I went to, uh, I, I went all around, but then I went to the Vatican in Rome, and that Ooh, place is that crazy. Like? Is it creepy? <laughs> creepy? No, it's it's actually just a huge art museum. Like yeah. the amount of stuff they've collected. Did since you try the, to sneak into the catacombs underneath? No, but I, you can actually go into them. But you can't like request files. <laughs> Did you see? I don't. Edward know, I didn't go down. Huh? Did you see Edward sparkling in the sun? Who? <laughs> Edward. You don't know who Edward is? Edward, Edward Cullen? Cullen? You don't know? Twilight. Is he at the Vatican? He tried to like off himself at the Vatican. I've never seen those movies. And then Bella I've never seen it either. <gasps> I feel like you would be a Twilight person. Yeah. You You've give never? Like, no. <laughs> I've never wow. seen him. I've literally never seen him Because I grew either. up poor. Everyone went to the movies. My parents weren't going to let did you? <laughs> That's like a poor person activity <laughs> to do. <laughs> I used to go to the library wow. and read all the books sitting in the yeah, library. Like, you have to have like the expensive. That's, that's just dumb. You Why? can check them out. They're free. I used to check them out too, but you know, we, I was forced to, my grandpa used to have this regimen. I used to have to check out 40 books a week and then, uh, 40, 40 books 40? a week. Were you yeah. selling them? His grandpa, yeah, his grandpa be flipping them out? No, no. Like I was like, it was like a boot camp of reading. How many boot camps did you go to? <laughs> Wait, a, a lot month. of boot camps. <laughs> some forcibly, some on you know. Forty a month? No, a week. Oh, oh, I would not read all forty. He would, but it would That's make me possible. pick forty books to to check out. Yeah, I every used week. to read that much book, but it was Cat in the Hat and like Good Night Moon and nah, shit nah, like that. I was I was checking out wild shit as a kid. Holy shit! How fast were you reading them? Cat then? in the. I was I was enjoying reading. I really liked reading, but like there's I'm not reading forty books. Motherfucker used to make me read the dictionary. Looks do you think crazy. you could you think you could do an audio book while you sleep and retain like maybe twenty no, percent no. of the book? No, I don't think no. so. That'd be great. But the other thing uh, is <laughs> all those great. billionaires or millionaires that say they read a book a day, they're skimming them. Yeah, they're not actually reading them. They're skimming them. Yeah, they say they read a book a day. They're just skimming them. If they don't like them, they put them down and move on to something else. Or they're coming to a couple chapters, taking a couple pieces of knowledge, remembering it, saying it on a podcast to make it sound like they read the book, and then they move on. No, it's because they're really, really fast readers. I don't know why you're hating so much. Yeah, you're I mean, if you're, if you're a billionaire, you probably don't need to read anymore. So. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it, they all say they read a book a day. It's like a story. It's like a joke amongst yeah, them. Yeah. You outsource your yeah. reading once and, you're rich. And then they just trick you. They're basically like, yeah, if you ever want to be me, you got to read a book a day. Mm. No, I mean, reading's great. I'm actually just reading the same book twice now because I want to like retain more knowledge what from book? it. What book? 100%. Bending Reality. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't think it was going to be that. <laughs> yeah. That was the last one I finished. And then I was like, Honestly, I should just read that again. Like, I feel mm-hmm. like I need to keep learning from this book. 100%. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Are you done with this? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. I'll just swallow it. Mm-mm. No, Esther, don't swallow it. Thank you. Now I'm done. All right, guys. Wait, you should give one of those ice cubes for Vit to suck on. 
Um, That'll help. Vin, you want to suck on my used ice cubes? I don't no. think he wants that. <laughs> or if you guys have ice cubes, because that helps with like nausea and stuff. You guys stop babying me. All I did was throw up. <laughs> All I did was projectile vomit on the carpet. I just threw up like five times and told you guys about my anaphylactic avocado allergy while I just ate it. Um, All I did was get up really dramatically and puke all over the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's okay. start the episode, guys. Eddie, do you have an ice cube? <laughs> Get him an ice cube, man! <laughs> Please, it's gonna stress Just me kidding. out the whole time until uh, hey, if he, does not, if he wants an ice cube, he can get one. It's in the freezer. Yeah, I'm okay. What if if he He's moves, he throws baby. up again? <laughs> He's not gonna throw up again. Wait, give him the bag at least. No, it makes bag him bag feel better if you neg him. If you neg him? Yeah, yeah. Come on. What's negging? Neg is like, like making them feel like shit about yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'm joking. Or give him a bag or something too, just in case. Try to kill him and now do do an ice cube in a bag. Fuck the, fuck the ice cube in a bag. I want to hear the thing <laughs> that Esther's trust. Wait, do we, do we need to, to put out die. a disclaimer right now? Yeah, I will do it right okay. now. Okay, guys. Like I said, this episode is going to be different. I'm going to be talking about, like, one of the most gruesome crimes I've ever heard in my life. Like, I... I heard this story maybe, like, a week and a half ago, and I could not get it out of my head. Mm. And Sahar knows what I'm talking about. So, after I tell you guys this case and then go into details we're gonna have a discussion mm -hmm. uh but yeah trigger warning guys i know we were talking about something very very happy before but like i said this is the most gruesome crime and there i'm gonna be talking about abuse ape with the r in the front uh violence just everything horrific okay Turn so it off now. Yeah. Turn yeah. Turn yes. it off now. If just, you, yeah. Yeah, if, or if, go if, to the timestamps and skip over this section if you don't want to listen or to go it. Go yes. watch the other crime episode. It's very yes. uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, Brando's is a lot. Is is very lighthearted compared to this. It's just it's hey, is this crazy. plagiarism, Brando? You guys. The timing is a little weird. It's a little <laughs> no. weird, right? It yeah. was directly the comments, after yours. The comments were great, you know. So. Yeah. No. She saw the popularity <laughs> of yours. Oh like. No, but I was on Crime Talk. You guys, like, every yeah. single day at like 2 a.m. I was too. Did yeah, you see right? that story about the parents who put their baby in like a laundry machine? Did you see that one? No. That's disgusting. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, but this is definitely something It's very hard to hear, very hard to visualize. If you can't stomach yeah. these kind of things, do not watch this part of this because yeah. it's very uncomfortable. I'm someone who can handle it for the most part and even this, I was like, ooh. Yeah, no, I'm getting a little nervous like okay so guys this is the Junko Furuta case okay it all started November 25th 1988 so here's a background about Junko she was 17 at the time she's considered a model student um, she got good grades um, she didn't skip out on class she didn't do any drugs like didn't smoke didn't drink right she was just a perfect student uh, she was also known to be very attractive and uh, very popular so, and there's another student in the same high school. His name was Hiroshi Miyano, and he was 18 years old at the time, and he was considered to be a bully. Um, and he was also um, involved with the younger members of Yakuza. And if you guys don't know what the Yakuza is... Oh, it's like uh, the Japanese mafia. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he had a crush <laughs> he had a crush on Junko so he decided to ask her out and she rejected him and obviously that f made him super angry like his pride was hurt you know like small pee pee vibes um, and so he no he he wanted to get revenge on her and so he came up with a plan with a friend but how does this guy again? He's 18. 18. 18. Yeah, whoa, yeah. only one year above. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he came up with a plan, and the plan was to have one of his friends uh, basically attack Junko, and he was supposed to come in and rescue her. And after he rescues her, that was his like plan to like gain trust, like Junko's trust, so that he could take her anywhere. So as planned, uh, November 25th, 1988, she was riding her bike after her part-time job and she was attacked by a random boy, um, which was one of his friends. And he came to the rescue and he offered to take her home. And she didn't trust him, but she was like, I'm not gonna risk you know, getting attacked again. So she said, okay. And then while they were talking, they, they kind of like, they were just talking a lot and then like she forgot where they were going. And he ended up taking her to an abandoned warehouse. And then there, he revealed his Yakuza connections. And he basically said, like, you got to do whatever I tell you to. So he raped her multiple times. Can I say rape or should I say ape? Say graped. Graped. Graped her multiple times. Um, and then he, after that, he took her to a hotel where he called up two of his friends. And they did the same thing to her. And the thing is, this is not... Um, like, 
this was they were familiar with this type of stuff because they have done it prior. Um, what gra- graping? Graping, yeah. And so, I think maybe like a, a maybe like a week ago. They did this to another woman, but they set her free um, because she was just like super, super like you could tell that she wasn't going to tell because she was so scared. This this guy Mm -hmm. did it to another girl a couple weeks prior to doing it to Junko. Yes, yes. Uh But then with Junko, they were like, let's like they didn't want to let her go um, because first of all, they said that they were having too much fun with her. And second of all, they they kind of like in their head knew that she was going to go and tell while the other girl that they graved previously looked like she was just way too scared like to even open her mouth so the next morning uh hiroshi took her to the park where three boys were waiting for her two of which were the other boys from the night before and they threatened her by telling her that they'll kill her parents and her family um, if she tried to escape the three boys names are jay ogura shinji minato and yasushi watan uh, Watanabe and their ages were 16 to 17 and Hiroshi being the oldest he was 18 um, and they took her to one of the boys parents home uh, the boy's name was Minato and this was where they made her life a living hell um, and you guys are thinking like where was the boy's parents right so the parents later admitted that they knew she was there but they didn't want to intervene because her their son was like had violent behaviors and and he knew, and they knew that he had connections with the Yakuza. And they also didn't, this was, this was annoying, but they said they also didn't want to ruin their good re- reputation in the community. Right? God. Crazy. That's crazy. Exactly. It's just disgusting, you know? And then on the third day, wait, there wait, was... Wait, real quick. So she's gone missing for two days. Did her parents call the police? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was going to go no. in that. So on the third day, there was news that Junko's parents was um, looking for her and they, st- uh, they opened an investigation to find her. And... The boys forced Junko to call her parents and tell her that she ran away um, and she was safe and she was staying at a friend's house and to stop the investigation. And so for a total of 44 days, she was beaten and raped, uh, raped over 400 times by the four boys, plus many, many others. Um, she, was also, she was also forced to be naked at all times. And they've also invited, just invited a mo- like a whole bunch of men and also women to watch her. So like, basically like she was like, you know. Human traffic to like. Like no, she, like, she, like they treated her like she was just like. Livestock? Yes. Like and publicly they, humiliated. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, in the, just think about like being in the circus and like people are just, you know, yeah. like making fun of you and shit like that. So um, the fact that they invited like females to mock her and stuff, you know what I mean? That's just disgusting. Um, one girl even doodled on her face, which is it's just humiliating, you know? Um, eventually, one of the boys that was invited to see Junko uh, told someone else who then informed the police about what was happening at Minato's parents' home. And the police went to the house and asked uh, Minato's parents if they've seen a girl and they just denied it. They were like, no, right? And then without any real investigation, they just left. Yep. And let me just tell you the hor- some of the horrifying things that the boys did to her. It's kind what, of a long list. What about Jun- Junko's parents at that point? They got some tip. The I, police aren't going to them saying like, yo. I remember it saying them saying that like basically they made her do things like call like something to let her parents know that she was safe. Like they forced yeah, yeah. her to. No, no. They, yeah. liter- wow. they literally, um, sh- they, 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 yeah, they yeah. forced uh, Junko to get on the phone. Like I said, right? And then um, basically say, like, I ran away. Like, I'm with my friend. Like, don't come look for me. Like, just cancel the investigation. And, like, obviously, they know Junko's voice. You know, they're like, okay, well, she's probably Fuck. rebelling or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Right? But it's weird because she was a model student, which is like, kid, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't know. Um, and then so these are the horrifying things that they did. This is really... It's so... It's, it's really bad. So... First of all, they urinated on her, forced her to touch herself in front of the boys and their guests for their entertainment. She was beaten physically every day with all sorts of objects, including iron rods, bamboo sticks, golf clubs, etc. Hot wax dripped all over her face, focusing especially on her eyelids. Um, her eyelids were also burned with cigarettes and lighters. Uh, they locked her into a freezer for hours until, uh, when they were bored of her, and then she, they would only pull her out when they wanted to like play with her again. Um, they starved her and only fed her cockroaches and bugs, and they only gave her urine to drink sometimes. She had her left nipple ripped off by a pair of pliers. 
And then when it was below freezing outside, they were they would force her to sleep in the balcony. And this was, dude, they drenched her body with lighter fluid and set her on fire multiple times, leaving her severe burn marks. Oh, God. And then they dropped dumbbells on her from a significant height. And the drops of the dumbbells were so, like, hard on her abdomen that it caused her to lose all control of her bowels. And they also hung her from a ceiling and used her as a punching bag. There's a couple more. Um, her breasts were stabbed with sewing needles, and they kept it inside. They would hold her face down on concrete, and they would take turns jumping on her face. And then this was just disgusting. So they burned her private parts with cigarette lighters. They put fireworks in there and lit it, and a lot of objects that were sharp and jagged. And the fireworks were not only inserted inside her privates, they also put it in her mouth and her ears. So obviously if it's in her ears, like she's deaf, you know what I mean? Okay, so after 10 days of this abuse, her body was beginning to fail her. Um, there was so much blood accumulated in her sinuses that she could no longer breathe through her nose as well. And her body ref uh, started to refuse food and water. And so whenever she tried to consume anything, she would just throw up. And you know, when you throw up, you just get dehydrated, right? And whenever she would vomit, they would beat her, which was like literally just constantly, right? Um, after 20 days, she was unable to walk and she couldn't grip anything with her hands. And after 30 days, Junko was not able to urinate or defecate properly. She didn't die? No, she didn't die. Not yet. Like, and I remember, but, it, yes, this was, it was like, she was like begging them to kill yes, her. Yes, exactly. She was like, like begging, like, please just kill me. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. yeah. I don't know how those things didn't. Like I, for her sake, I wish something would have just killed her sooner. Just yeah. so she didn't have to deal with it for so long. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, at that point, yeah, when she asked for them to kill her, like she had lost all hope. I think prior to that, like she was still like, you know, you're hopeful, right? I think I read once they started lighting her on fire. Yes. That's when she was like, can you please just kill me? Yes, like, yeah, yeah. Please just kill me. I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. So one Sorry. night, the boys drank too much and Junko <sighs> decided to take this opportunity to escape. So she ended up getting a hold of a phone and she dialed, um, you know, the cops and the officer picked up. But once she, before she was about to say anything, Hiroshi picked up the phone, like right behind her, picked up the phone uh, to tell the op officer that they dialed it by mistake and hung up. And as you could guess, she was dragged back down and beat up again. And then once again, set on fire. Her body was in so much shock that she began having seizures. And by this time, she begged her abusers to kill her and get over with it. And she, she lost all hope. Uh, she was deaf at this point, and her body was so damaged that she could barely crawl. It would take her an hour to get to a restroom. The, the boys abused her so much that it was hard to make out her face, uh, facial features. And by this time, like, the boys don't find her attractive anymore, you know? So, like, they, they, they were just bored of her, and so they decided to abduct another woman. This was it's just so sad. Like, they were abusing her to the point where her body was was rotting while she was still alive. Yeah. And it, her body couldn't, uh, couldn't handle it. So like it, it stopped, it couldn't like heal itself. So she was bleeding heavily out of her genitals and she started to smell like a rotting corpse. And they were just sick of her. So after 40 days, she begged again to just get over with it, you know? But three days after this, uh, on January 4th, the boys forced her to play a game of mahjong and she, even with her condition, she beat him. And obviously, what's mahjong? She, mahjong is like a is like a game, like an Asian game. I don't know exactly what the like origins are. Game. Yeah, oh. kind of yeah. like the, the pieces kind of look like domino. It's dominoes esque. Dominoes, yeah. uh -huh. It's not okay. dominoes, but they look it, like that. It, and is that play. what they played in Crazy Rich Asians? Have you seen the movie? Okay, never mind. But it's oh, yeah, yeah, it's like a game, like like very very popular. But um, even with even in her condition, she was able to win them. And obviously, that's going to infuriate them, right? And so. They, ang they were angered and they beat her with an iron rod. This shit is hard to listen to. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, like, when someone was telling me the story, I was literally, like, I felt super sick to my stomach. I was nauseous. Like, for some reason, I couldn't even, like, cry because I was so numb. Like, I felt so numb, like, so disgusted. I know. Um, anyway, so they dumped fluid lighter all over her body, in even inside um, her eyes, and then they lit her on fire. Uh, sh she burned for two hours, suffered, 
And then her, bo her body finally gave out and she passed away. Now, I, I think that, I don't know, this is just my assumption, but the, when they forced her to play Mahjong, I feel like she did that on purpose. Like, one, on purpose. Because it would make them... Yeah, like, what do, you, what do you guys think? Like, do you think that... I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I was just, like, thinking. And I was like, maybe... I they were like, if you win, we'll <sighs> give you, like... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. an incentive or something. Either that or, like, she, she wanted to win so that she, she could... They would kill her. Yeah. I don't know. Like, that, would, that question has mm -hmm. got me, like, thinking. Well, me I feel like she was at the point where she was like, I just... Fuck need, it, right? Like, I need you guys to just kill me. No, because, yeah. like, I think she realized she was, like, at the point there was, like... There was no repair. I don't know how many hospital visits could fix even the situation no, she was exactly. in. Like you, no, exactly. I think she was just in so much pain and had been going through it for so yeah. long that she was just like, like, yeah, like she knew. Exactly. She definitely knew that if she, like, because I was thinking to myself, I'm like, why would she win that? Like, why would you try that's to win? That's what I'm saying. That, that's what I like, think she knew that, like, if I do this, at least it'll get everything, like, Exactly, over with. exactly. But, yeah, so this is what they did after they killed her. So in order, in, or, order, in order to hide the evidence, the boys decided to put her body in a 55-gallon oil drum and fill it up with cement. Um, and in the pictures, you could still see Junko's hair sticking out of the cement, which for some reason they didn't notice. And they threw her out in a construction zone. And it's crazy because the boys' plan worked out perfectly because the investors had no lead and no evidence. Um, but one day, when Hiroshi's dumbass was being questioned for his most recent rape allegations, unrelated to Junko's, right? Because I think the, uh, the police brought up an open murder investigation. Mm -hmm. And they thought, and, and Hiroshi thought um, that the investors already knew what he's done. Investigators? The investigators, yeah, sorry, what did I say? Investors. Oh, sorry, investors. <laughs> investigators already knew what he's done because he thought his boys, like, already got called in mm -hmm. and, like, basically, like, confessed, you know, mm -hmm. um, and ratted him out, you know? So, yeah, he, he basically ended up confessing to the crime um, because he got confused. And then he told the police where he dumped Junko's body. And within a few days... All three were in custody. The, he was already in custody, and then the uh, other three got brought in. So now, once they found her body, they called Junko's parents, and they went into full detail about what happened to her daughter. And Junko's mom, uh, she fainted, and she ended up in a long-term psychiatric hospital. And when the autopsy was performed on Junko, they found all the hor horrendous things that have been done to her. They even found, like, pieces of glass bottles still stuck inside her insides. Um, and they also found out she was pregnant. Yeah, and uh, when they found her, she was so badly mutilated that they couldn't identify her, so they had to identify her using her fingerprint. And this was, oh my God, like, I don't know the, the science behind this, but it was later discovered that her brain size was significantly reduced as well. Do you guys know? That Anything about sense. that? Probably like malnutrition. Yeah. If yeah. you're like starving your body of, of, of things, of new, important nutrients it needs, it's yeah. not going to be... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, this, this was sickening. <sighs> okay, this was the most like infuriating part. So when they were, you know, it's like they're in court, right? And everyone was considered a minor because in Japan, if you're under the age of 20, you're a minor. And so this is why all the boys that were involved in this... Were tried, weren't tried as adults at first. And they received shockingly low sentences, uh, but it was increased after an appeal, but even then it wasn't enough. Well, what was shockingly low? I, I will tell you now. Um, they were not charged with murder, but, only, but they were charged for causing bodily injury resulting in death. Can you believe that? That's crazy, right? Okay, so Hiroshi got a maximum sentence of 20 years. 20 years, guys. And then the rest of them got five to nine years each. Isn't that... Isn't Are, that they, wouldn't they still be alive today? Yes, I will go into that. Yeah, it's just so... Like, this pissed me off so much. I was like, what the fuck is up with this? So, um, this is a random fact, but J Japan actually changed the age of adulthood from 20 to 18 recently in April two, uh, 2022. Yeah. 
Anyway, so everyone's name involved in this crime were, um, were not released until April 1990. But before that, the boys were referred to in the documents as A, B, C, and D. And Junko was E. Uh, the, reasons why, uh, the reason why we know her real name is because someone ended up leaking her name and her photo. And the only reason why we know the boy's name um, was because a Japanese magazine uh, broke pro protocol and name dropped them. Uh, the editor of the magazine stated that beasts don't have human rights, which 100% agree. Like, how, agree. how is it that like they will... It just doesn't make sense. This whole story just doesn't make sense. You don't sense. get to do all that and then still have that, your That's what I'm saying. Secret. You're yeah. not a human, for real. Yeah. So... Um, during the trial, it was common for people to faint after hearing uh, all the horrendous details that was mentioned. And the crazier thing is that the boys didn't show any signs of remorse during the court case. Um, and obviously, Junko's parents were livid about the light sentences. Um, and so they filed a lawsuit. And God, they filed a lawsuit against Minato's parents, which was the which was the where the the house yeah. right the house um, what happened to the parents nothing that's what i'm saying uh, yeah literally yeah, literally remember. nothing it was crazy the the only thing that happened was that um they obviously minato's parents lost uh, lost a lawsuit and what's called junko's parents received four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars, and they they got that money because minato's parents sold their house four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars dude that's f fucking crazy um and now the, afterwards, um, after they were released, so they made a movie about this in 2004 based on this yeah, case. It's, it's called Concrete. Mm -hmm. And they had another one in 2017 called Jungo. And then um, this, is, <laughs> this is the most annoying part. So now they're, they're still alive. They're still out and living under a different alias. And Why do they get to do that? That's what why I'm saying. Do that's why what I'm are saying. they allowed to do that? And also, they continue to commit more crimes. Well, how do you know that? Because uh, people be doing research. But then if their identities are... I'm, I'm surprised nobody's gone and just murked them. Can someone just do it? Someone find them and, you know... Dude, I don't understand why an they're an allowed to do that, you know? But, yeah, we'll get into the discussions in a little bit. But, okay, so Hiroshi was arrested for fraud. And Ogura and Minato was com uh, c convicted of attempted murder. Um... And obviously, till this day, people that hear about this are enraged about it, about how light their sentences were. Um, so, yeah. You, you missed the part. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go back up. The mom was angry. Which one? Basically, he was saying that um, one of oh, the... Oh, wait, this is the worst so part. This is one of the worst part. Thank you. This was one of the worst part, too. So one of the boy's moms actually went to Junko's grave and vandalized it and cursed her for ruining her son's life. That's like peak delusion. Isn't that oh so? God. Isn't that? Victim dude, blaming. this whole like I'm like sweating right now because I'm this like angers me so much. I'm just like, people are, they're not even humans at this point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now that mom like, you could Crazy. see your your son did all that stuff and they have evidence of it, and you're gonna say how dare she ruin my son's life? Tell your son not to torture and rape and do all that. If, right if your son, if your son grows up to be a, a that's person that can do any of that shit at fucking 16, like that mom is probably demented as well. You 100%. failed as children. You 100%. failed as a person. You failed as a human. Exactly. You know, way. You know how like um, debt gets passed even if you die? Yeah. You think the punishment should get passed? You think the mom should get punished for making a psychopath? <sighs> I think so the guy who with the house, the guy who, those parents should yeah. be they should 100%. be hundred percent death penalty. That was actually one of my questions. Okay, so first of all, let, let's go down. Um, after hearing the story, um, how did it make you feel, and what are what, what what kind of thoughts were running in your head? I cried a little bit while you were talking about it. I was really? like, I didn't think it was gonna hit me like that, but then when you brought up the mom passing out, so I was like, oh my god, yeah. yeah, I'm disgusted. I mean, what the craziest part to me is that the the fucking the the guys that are doing all this shit are like children yeah like what how the fuck like this is like truly evil demented twisted activities and not just like you do it and then it's like oh fuck we did this thing it's like constant fucking literally like holding somebody hostage and destroying them and it's like how the fuck at 16 like all i was doing was playing league of legends you know That's like what, what saying, the yeah. fuck could have gone through your mind 
what the like uh, that part bo- like mind boggled me the most because that that was like some of the most evil, most gruesome shit I ever heard, and it was like literal children committing it. And the fact that so many people heard it, saw it, were there, and like not a single one of them. That's what I'm, I'm not saying. A si- like, sure, maybe there's one one bad kid, two bad kids, three. You're telling me like I remember it was like over twenty people had raped yeah. her. Yeah, like and thirty people me, in a day, dude. Like there was like over like over hundred people at least knew about this. Yeah. I'm Actually, sorry. A- I think it's thirty. She, yeah, I think thirty times she was they, raped. They are day. also gang was, affiliated. Yeah, that's though. Yes, yes, yes. And it's all probably gang members. Dude, they yeah. also so, said that the reasons why they may have got light sentences was because of the yakuza like connections. Do you, so, that, not that I'm like this story is fucked up beyond belief, but do you guys feel that like you know child soldiers that are given drugs and instructed to do things and see things that they're not supposed to as children, obviously? fucks them up like kids young kids in a gang being influenced uh, well, by older people like who knows what they saw too I'm like do you do you think that it's like a kid is innocent at the day at the those day. kids are not innocent I, no, in no, no, any no, no. I'm saying means. kids are innocent in the beginning and then yeah. people other people Exa- influence yeah. them their environment influences them yeah of course of course they're influenced um, and I feel like after seeing so many like shitty things done some people end up thinking it's normal like when it's just constantly, constantly done, I feel like eventually, like they're just jaded. Is that is that the word? Like they're just like it doesn't. No, I don't. To be like, you're not responsible for the things that happen to you, but it's your responsibility to f- fix those. It doesn't. Yeah. It's not rocket science to yeah. know that torturing, yeah, doing all that stuff. You, I don't care what trauma you've been through. You, any normal human would have would know that that was wrong. Yeah, I don't care what conditioning you've yeah. been through. You know that's wrong. Yeah, no, I know hundreds I'm, and hundreds of 100%. people. You're telling me not a single one of them were like whoa, let me try to do something to help. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just so, like... It's crazy how many, like, fucked up people were... It's crazy how many fucked this. up people just exist, period. Yeah. What, what a, like, I feel... And I also feel like gang shit is glorified. Like, yeah. it, like people, people make that shit look cool. Like, mainly media makes it look cool. And it's like, at the end of the day, this is, like, the type of shit the gangs be doing. Or at least, like, people in gangs that, that are, cartel. Like, yeah, yeah, cartel. Like, the things that the fucking cartel does is, like, this, it's like this on a daily basis. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they literally, part of their fucking income is selling children that they, that they kidnap at the border. Yeah. And it's like. And it's crazy because this shit is still happening now. Yeah. Like, probably, yeah. not, I hope not to this degree. Like, this no, is. No, it definitely happens. Yeah. But, like, it, it does. It's still happening as we speak. And it's just, like, it takes one, like idiot to slip up and then for us to finally find out about it but yeah. i'm just gonna talk about what i'm hearing about this case and i'm just like these boys were not raised right and his little fucking ego i don't know just uh, yeah. i don't know i can't even talk because i'm just, just overall so, fra- I'm fragile e- i agree like I'm a man with it's like emotional control emotional discipline like a man that does not know how to control his emotions can become a very very yeah. dangerous evil fucking cretin mm-hmm. i wonder why like it just made me think of Elliot Rogers. Like oh, he says yeah. in his manifesto, the shooter at Santa Barbara. Okay. And he made... He Wait, so hard, do you know this a, story? Long mm-hmm. story short, this guy, he was like a snooty kid. Mm-hmm. Definitely weird. Definitely... People say that there's no account that's confirmed that he was bullied or whatever it is, but he gets on camera, kills his roommate. Then he goes around Santa Barbara and he shoots, shoots up the campus and kills a bunch of... Mm-hmm. Goes w- specifically after women. Mm-hmm. And in his manifesto, he talks about how, like, you rejected me and now you'll yeah. pay. Like, just some creepy incel shit. Mm-hmm. And it's just interesting how, like, it's interesting how, like, when men get rejected by women, it, it, the weird cases, it could, it, it manifests into, like, into grape or violence mm-hmm. or things like that. I can't really think of too many cases off the top of my head. And I'm sure it exists where women will exhibit violence because a man rejected her. Yeah, I mean, completely different scenarios. Yeah, but it's just, it's interesting how, like, for fragile men, it turns to that, Mm -hmm. where it's like, that should be mine. Yeah. Also, I'm saying the entitlement that comes with it. Also, like, this guy specifically, he was so used to getting everything his way. and, And everyone in the school knows that he's like, the top bully, right? And so he was like, "How dare she?" You know, like that even like ruined his ego. And it's so much. And it's just like, like, really? It was like it wasn't her choice for him to like her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't her like she didn't do anything. Just entitlement. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, what his parents did that made him feel like that—that he was entitled to that. But yeah, y'all failed his parents. (sighs) Yeah, exactly. Okay, so one hundred percent. Most likely, though, they were abusive and disgusting Mm -hmm. people as well. Yeah, for sure. Even that Minto guy's parents. How the fuck did you guys know that that was happening and you didn't do shit? 
because of like reputation because yeah. you no, don't want to ruin your name also they were they're obviously trying to like um protect the kid as well which is stupid but like also the protecting fact that themselves most likely yeah I mean, yeah like, of course yeah. of course but they're scared of their kid that's why they didn't say anything that's i don't know man also if they're like tied to yakuza like yeah you, know, you could be scared of them too yeah that's also crazy that the kid punked his parents. <laughs> like, what do you mean punk? Wild to me. As a parent, as a imagine you're a dad and yeah. your son, you're afraid of your 16 year old son. Yeah. I was, I was smack the fuck out of you, boy. What do you mean you're in the yakuza? Yeah. But dude, these, go I to feel fucking like Kumon. Do, I feel like these kids <laughs> don't give a fuck. Like they would kill their own parents too. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think, and they were just like Not scared out I of kill their mind. You, I'll be damned if my own seed murdered me. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, you guys, I have a question. So, if you were, if we were to punish oh. these killers with the same abuse they did to Junko, do you think it's justifiable, or would you just be, you would you Wait, be? Say it again. I'm so sorry. Say it again. Okay. If you were to punish these killers with the same abuse they did to Junko, do you think it's justifiable, or would you be just as evil as them? I wouldn't want to do that myself, but I, if it happened to them, I would not feel bad, or would I wouldn't even fucking. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't have a similar reaction as I felt with Junko. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know if I would be able to commit that I, myself. It's the old eye for an eye. I wouldn't do it, but if there was like, you know, like Another the government or, or something whatever, would yeah. do it, I'd, if there was like a petition, I would sign off on it. If, I, if I was in the jury, I would be fighting for a death penalty. Yeah. 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 Do you think that that's a, a cop out? Okay, yeah. Death but penalty? Yeah. No, nah, honestly, just get... Tor torture mandated by law is crazy because it becomes a very... It's slippery like a slippery slope, slope right? Yeah. Like once you allow that by law, like it, it, it takes a case like this to let it happen. But then it's like you've opened the door, right? I just don't. And think I would never want the government to have that button to press. Do you want, do you want to know some crazy statistics about the death penalty? Because uh, I had to do a report on this a long time ago, so my facts could be shaky. Number one, because the process takes so long to get them to the point of saying. Uh, yes, we're going to commit it. It's super expensive to keep all those people. Uh, it's all the lawyer fees. It's keeping them alive, the space they take up in jail. It's super expensive to give somebody the death penalty. And then the uh, the second part, too, is like uh, the the time length it takes. Like even though like if all the evidence is stacked against the person, there's ability for them to drag it out for years and years and yeah. years. So my question is when it's that clear that somebody has committed a crime like that right like and they confessed what, it too yeah like so, why like do you think that it should just be like gun to the head right there i don't like think they should squad? deserve to just die or do you think they get i agree a, they as well. i agree just well. die so why do they get to just die but what's the do you want them to be tortured, tortured? by yeah. the government i think the easiest thing is you you put them in jail and then usually what the at least in here in america what what the uh not that was it the correction officers, right? What they'll yeah. do is they'll slip that information out, and those people get killed anyways from the inmates. Mm. That's no true. one likes rapists or child molesters in in the jail. That's true. Yeah. You get beat the fuck up. That's true. Well, what would you what would you think? So if it's not like torture, like what would you think is like a fair punishment that would make somebody like you know put them through hell? But it's like in America, maximum security prison where um where the the, the prison culture will take care Wait, of. Are them. we are yeah. we talking about facts or are we talking about like what what would you want to do? Yeah, because if you're like you, yeah, if you're like okay. hey keep them alive keep, like like outside of yeah. Go. Okay, so I would want the victim's family to choose what happens to them. Oh, I like, like that. if they want to beat beat him up or like put fireworks up their fucking asshole. Yeah, I'd be like hell yeah. But legally though, you're talking Legal, about legally, legally or just legally. like if, no, if legally, we could just do whatever we wanted uh, legally. Well, but that's because, not like that because, would never okay, happen legally. I, I know, yeah. but I'm just saying if I if I if I could, okay, if I could, mm. I would. But that's I think what I mean. that, it's that that's what we're saying now. Mm. If, yeah, whatever we want to happen. Yeah, I do. I I do think that it's. Yeah, I think it, the victim's family should I have that power. Too. Because honestly, I also believe that the death penalty is not, it's not good enough. That's not I, good I, enough. I, I, I know it sounds fucked up, but I think it's not good enough. Because this is kind of weird. But like when I watch movies and let's just say the, the main character is trying to get revenge on the person that has killed all the families or whatever. And then at the end, he just shoots him. I'm like, oh, that wasn't very satisfying. Because I feel like that person should have been tortured. Mm. Dexter. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little violent. Oh, but. some Dexter motherfucker? Yeah, Dexter, I Dexter was the... Uh, I 1,000% agree, yeah. Dexter I wouldn't cool. want to do it. Do you guys think a Dexter exists? Do you guys think 100%. that there's but a serial killer out there that tortures only fucked up motherfuckers I like hope this? so. I, I, I low-key like low wish so too. Only only people that have committed like really, really, really bad crimes. Or like Jigsaw. Like Not like, like drug dealers, you know what I mean? Like people who have done horrendous things to other people. Or uh, Light Yagami. Yagami, what's that? Is that from an anime? Yeah, Death Note. Oh. 
If what is, what is, what is Yagami's character? Just watch Death Note. Honestly. I don't got also, time. Also, please comment watch down cartoons. below. Comment down below. He, what would you want to happen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has a book where he can kill people who write his name, but he only kills bad people. It's but a, it just it's, writes their name and they die? Right, okay, let me explain Death Note to you then. But do they die in some crazy way? So no, heart attack, this, minimum. This dude, this dude... Minimum? This dude, who is a boy genius, finds a notebook that belongs to a Shinigami, which is a, basically the Grim Reapers. And Shinigami's, like, the, the book has a power... He can write anyone's name in the book. He has to see their... F There's a lot of rules to the book, though, which makes it like a really crazy cat and mouse game. He can write someone's name in the book if he knows their face and it matches the name, and he can write exactly how and when they die, and it happens. He's a, su he's a genius, like genius IQ. He starts killing all the bad people in the world. Like, anyone he sees on the news, like serial killer, rapist... Oh, he can see them on the news, too. And he knows their name. And if the name matches, he can kill them. So he starts... M Murking everyone, but then it becomes this phenomenon that the whole world knows about. Why are all the bad people dying randomly? And if he doesn't write any cause of death or anything, it's uh, they just die in like 10 minutes from a heart attack. So, but then the world's best detective gets on the case to find him. Now it's this genius with this superpower fighting against the world's best detective who whose name has always been anonymous, so he can't kill him. And then it's this cat and mouse. But um, spoiler alert, right? Uh huh. Okay. That's like the premise. And yeah. okay, but, but then spoiler alert. It's well, not spoiler alert. A big part of it is mm. philosophically is what he's is what he is doing correct because mm. he's killing all the bad people, and and he's literally just he's not like going there and stabbing them in the neck himself. It's like literally like delete delete playing God basically. Yeah. And be, and like and what and what's happening is that he's gain, gaining like. He's starting to be revered as God. No one knows who he is either. No one knows he's the one doing it. Yep. But they, he comes up with a fake name and they start worshiping this person as God because people like, let's say, Junko's family, who's never received true justice, he's going to kill those guys. Basically, those motherfuckers would have been first up on the list to be written in the death note and the, de and the cause of death would have been like, Fucking penis torn off, limbs ripped oh, apart. He, I was like, about to ask. He, he goes goes, crazy he, with he it. He does something. He does, does go details. wild. Yeah. Chooses how they want to die. He, he yeah. chooses how somebody dies. Wait, it would be crazy if he was like dies by a great white shark attack. One day the guy's like, I'm gonna go fishing. Legit, today. that's what happens. Literally. So if you're very far from the ocean, but it, it's like this, right? If you're like drowns to death, but he's a day's walk from any near body of water, and he makes them die in a, in half a day, they'll just drop dead in the half a day from a heart attack because they couldn't find oh. water. I have a question. So, because now he's think he has like this, like he's God, right? He mm -hmm. feels like he's God. Um, has there been a time where he killed people just because they did him dirty? Like it, not, not exactly even exactly what say happens. That, say that again. He, so she just says that she said that he's doing all this for good. He starts to develop God complex. Now does he start killing people for his own benefit? Mm -hmm. And that is exactly where it's very easy to hear some evil Cretans like this. And be like, they deserve all these punishments. There's laws in place that that stop it. And obviously, the law is broken if they they, they got that light of a punishment. Yeah. But when you start getting to, like, we should change laws to, like, abuse them. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, give them the same pain. Handing the government power like that is not necessarily the solution because... It, and on, honestly, you know, this is this goes into conspiracy shit. But why wouldn't the government just make that shit happen on purpose if they were like tyrannical, so that everyone is like on their side of yeah, fucking change that shit, so that we can, so this can get fixed. But in reality, that shit is there for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like because mm -hmm. not not every case is so clear cut evil like this, yeah. and you can just whip that shit out at any moment. It's a double edged sword. What if yeah. the, what really if you is. were innocent and you were on the other side? You yeah, get fucked. That's a big part of death row too. Is that a lot? There's more, innocent. more than, more than you would think. Innocent people that are standing on death row. Yeah, and I wonder. It, ha it has happened a lot in the yeah. past. I was just thinking about like, what if there was like five people that everybody deemed as like good people, right? And you gave them the death note, and they're like, you know, it's the same issue, man. But then it's like five. It's like a okay, balance listen, of power. Four, no, four no, no, got to no. vote it through. No, no, you know there is saying? no such thing as a perfect human being, right? No matter no matter how good you are, even from like they could just finesse you into believing they're the who who what five would you pick? Joe Biden, like John, you know, John, you, Johnny Chang, one. No, still no, <laughs> yeah. no, hell no. Like, because you know, he's know? more understanding. He'd be I like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not handing Johnny Chang the fucking death note. <laughs> you guys is, but so he's one of five. No, I don't give a fuck. There's no five people that would ever. Victoria's ever, song. She wrote "Bending okay, Reality." Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, but do you guys know if the death penalty is? Illegal in Cal? It is illegal in California, right? Probably. California has California. all the worst fucking laws. 
No, no in California it probably wouldn't be. Yeah. No, it's probably le- illegal. They're probably like set oh, them yeah. free into Just the street. Just ask Jamie. Immediately. Jamie? <laughs> immediately. Look it up. <laughs> I don't think it's in Canada. I don't think we have tough penalty. Oh, okay. Oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just say sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Yo, Wait, never Vic. steal from that Tim Hortons again, yeah. okay? <laughs> but do you yeah, have uh, any... Do you have any um, Ideas of what would, what you would want to do if you were the judge. If I was a judge, yeah, like or, or so those yeah. people. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, I I don't believe an eye for an eye. Mm. I believe in an eye for a life. So you would think they should be death penalty. Wait, um, then? Oh, death penalty. No, Saying I also return don't. It worse. Yeah, I, I don't believe in death penalty either because I believe that death is mercy. So. I think if we had to do something more realistic. I would want them to be in like a solitary confinement situation with the lights off, like at all times. So they oh, just can't so just stay go, in there alone. So they can just mentally go and go crazy. Mm-hmm. What's, what's that, what's that what thing that the Greeks used to do where they would like pin you and then like do the drop of water? No, that's Chinese. a Chinese water torture. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's also white room torture. Wait, what's what that? is that? Oh, white room is no sound, makes nothing, you crazy just, too. No, like no. if you're in One like time. a room with something like that, like if we're talking something that could actually happen, psychologically, like let them mentally t- be tortured then for their mm. life. You know, the what? worst torture what? would be is you evangelize them and then make them feel guilt for what they did and they can never Will repay they know? that. Will they That's the thing. Nah, some people don't give a fuck. No, yeah. These One people literally was... showed no remorse, which is so crazy, right? Like, yeah. how do you do that to somebody? First of all, you're fucking pure evil. Uh-huh. It's evil. Yeah, you're evil. Wait, when I was going through the court system, one of the things they were... One of the things that my social worker told me was um, a big, like, thing that they judge you on is, like... Do you feel remorse? Like the psyche valves I was going through, it was like, do you feel like what you did was wrong? Is a big question that they were trying to get out of me without asking me directly. Mm -hmm. So it's like all these psych questions, all these psyche valves, and it's basically like, does he feel remorse? Like, is he is his morality correct or is it completely broken where it's like this is just normal, this is fun for him, or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. What you were saying about like lightroom torture or something. Mm When I was rushing a fraternity, one of the things they did was they blindfolded. They first way to do all these physical stuff so you're exhausted. Then they put us in a room, blindfolded us, and they made us put our hands above our head. Then they brought in this huge speaker and played death metal. And then like, so you can't hear. You, literally no depth perception. It's where you can't see, you can't hear, and you just had to stand there with your arms up. And every time you tried to put it down, someone would come through the room and be like, "Put your arms back up." <sighs> and so. And, and, and what they were really doing was this was the night, this was like towards the end and they, it was like a, supposed to be a happy night. They reveal your big brother or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I was the last, there's 32 people in there. I was the last one to, to, to get, like one of the last ones to get pulled out of the room so and I literally it. freaked out. I, I like freaked out. I was like, what's going on? I like walked out of the kitchen and the guy's like, get back in the room. I was like, no, no, what's going on? What's going on? And so, so, so dude, I, I literally lost my mind. I, I was going, I was freaking the fuck out. And yeah. then when they put me back in the garage and blindfold me, they told me later, they're like, yeah, you were supposed to be last, but you freaked out. So we made you. Last. Yeah. we No, no, no. We brought you out earlier. I was oh like, there was God. like five people. Like I took the blindfold off. There's only five people all standing there. I was just like, what the fuck is going on? I was Did only there for like, no, I didn't cry. But I was like, I was like, I was literally just like, I, I couldn't think. I was, I was, I went no, crazy. Bro, that, that shit happened to me in two in, in, in the fraternity. It was making me go crazy. It was the day that we were crossing. Mm. And I was literally like about to cry. Because I'm like, why are they being so fucking mean Dude. today? <laughs> no, we we had to do like hard physical things. And that was the, by far the worst thing. I was Bro, like, they, I would never do that. They made us build steps. And then they broke the steps after we had spent all night building those steps. <laughs> and I was so tight. I was like, what the f-? I was like literally getting emotional at them. Oh, <laughs> why would you make me build that? <laughs> you, were also, you were also in a frat. Passing through tears. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie, you were also in a frat? Yeah, I was in a frat. Yeah. I thought we're you in the guys same frat. liked it. We're, we're in the same frat. With Wutok? Yeah. Not the, the same frat. Not the same, same chapter. Same, same, uh, same, same frat. Same, same frat, different schools. Different chapters, Wait, yeah. Wutok. So you know how you you said that they would kind of like ask you yeah. if you feel any remorse? What if you didn't do what they thought you did? I didn't. I, I know, I know. I did so many like, other things though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But let's just say like you just didn't do it. You know how some people just get like framed or whatever, right? Like uh-huh. then... And you basically don't show remorse because you're just pissed off that you... That's a different situation because then it's like figuring out if you did it or not. For me, it was like, okay, it's clear you are out doing these activities. Like, why did you... You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but also, what about I'll, that specific thing? You didn't also, do it, Also, I so. was a child and also I was pleading for not guilty for reasons of insanity. So that's why I was going mm. through a lot of psych evals. And, um, so Har doesn't want to sit next to you anymore. Yeah. Wait, well, I got a wow, question. So are you we got a... me? I thought we were friends. No. Pleading guilt, not guilty for reasons of insanity. Yeah. You guys, I have a Wait, couple you of questions. You actually don't want to say anything. My state. Did you listen to the story? 
Yeah, what I'm doing I'm doing VP uh, two right now. I what, gotta. What's your What's your feelings though overall? Thanks. Like, what do you think <laughs> should happen to them? Be honest. Um. Yeah, I, I think that make penalty them, make makes them eat sense. Avocados. Make them eat avocados. <laughs> it's like their favorite food. Yeah, they're not. Even, they they're lie like, to you. They say they're allergic, and they're just munching on avocados. Ma- you could make totally them lie about that. Yeah. Every every tour day on the Taylor Swift tour. <laughs> <laughs> Front oh, row. Oh, oh, I would hate that so much. Uh, okay, you guys. Um, <laughs> you didn't even get to answer. Was that he your said death penalty. Answer? He said death penalty. Yeah. Death penalty. Yeah. That's that's satisfactory to you. I feel like you got some like weird ways that you would like make them pay. But you guys also, I don't think people are scared of the death penalty, like because That's easy. Death penalty. No, no, you know why? School you shooters, know. they want to be like no, and they're they're ready to face that. A lot of them shoot themselves after. Yeah, but what are you like, gonna? What else? What's the other? Let getting them tortured. Live? No, solitary no, no, confinement. So, no, no, in not the dark. solitary. Like, Something like, that's like, yeah. Either the sound thing that I just described, blindfold them, play death metal f- for the rest of their but life. These, these are all just or, tortures. No, no, no. Or, 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 like, it's just or like, send them, like, make them do hard fucking labor. Send them to the middle of Siberia and just mine I mean, cobalt. I mean, I'm dead. <laughs> There's no cobalt in Siberia. There, there, was, a, cobalt there was a story when I was in high school that happened, and this drunk driver killed someone's daughter. And instead of them um like trying to take any legal action the only thing that they required was that every single day he write them a check for one dollar or like write them a note or something so that every single day he would have to remember that he took somebody's life mm. instead of like trying to put him in jail or something well he didn't go to jail or nothing no they made sure the parents made sure he didn't go to jail they didn't want to uh, take any legal action he just it was required that he, that's that he, a, that's that's a little different. I would never yeah. trust a serial killer like these fucks to yeah. ever be like. Yeah, yeah, because that that, that is like a that's a no, different d- situation. That's just to say that they can never get their daughter back. Yeah. Oh. and so all this is never gonna get the daughter what, back. Like, what about like if you like like public humiliate like because solitary confinement, you're alone in a room, nobody sees you. But imagine oh. if it was like the straight up the old school medieval punishment, and it's a clear box and your head is just open to the public and you're locked. I got one I of just, those. I don't think punishment. they care though. I don't think these... these, these <laughs> oh my god. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> Yo. This guy. That's just a good time. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? What did he say? Not be getting your head chopped off, man. No, he has a, he has a, he has a sex stock. I, I just... I guess I have to watch it when I'm time stamping. No, no, no. Kay. You leave that in there. No, I mean, I want to hear, what, uh, but I didn't hear what he said. Have you guys, do you guys watch Black Mirror, any of you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. have you guys seen the White Bear episode? Which one was that? That's the one where, like, basically this girl, the entire episode, she's, like, the main character or whatever, and she's kind of just, like, sort of being tortured in a way, but she doesn't know why. She has no memory of who she is, what she's done, like, blah, blah, blah. And she's going through this series of things where people are just, like, filming her. She's getting attacked. People are just filming it. She's like, help me, help me, and, like, blah, blah, blah. And then in the end, you find out that basically... She had a daughter, and this her boyfriend was um, abusing the daughter, graping her, doing all this stuff to her. And all she would do was sit there and film it. She never helped her daughter, never did anything. And then once her daughter died, um, she got like convicted or something. And then her punishment ended up being they made it a whole show where you could buy tickets to be a person filming her to short like to show her like kind of what she did to her daughter, which was she would just film. And then every time the, a show would happen, the, the audience members that paid her, whatever, would get to film and do all this stuff and chase her around and like mentally torture her. And then at the end, they would reveal to her what she had done and she'd be crying. Then they'd electrocute her so she'd forget it and then they'd, they'd restart again. Yeah, oh I remember my that. God. That was a crazy episode. Dude, Black Mirror is freaking... Up thing. Black Mirror is fucked up. Black yeah. Mirror is also just like slowly coming true. Black it Mirror is, is racist. What? <laughs> Why why they name it Black Mirror? Because your screen, your right phone. <laughs> Dude, that's you know, that's it's, so it's your crazy. Phone, right? when Is he's that proud why? Of a dumb joke. He's like, yeah. yeah so if you if you lock your phone, it's a Black, black Mirror. mirror. Yeah. <gasps> oh, very clearly a joke, man. What? Yeah, but you needed to be educated. I know why it was called Black Mirror. Oh, I didn't know that why? either. Wow. Because the fucking your phone is the black. Phone is oh. black mirror. I never watch it. I just thought of a fucked up punishment. It just came into my head because we're talking about it? these fucked up scenarios. What I would do to them is cut their legs off so they can't walk. And then I would put like a sign, maybe cut off their hands too so they just have Okay, nubs. But when Esther was talking about her potential punishment, y'all were like, that's not realistic. You have to do something realistic. No, but no, no. This, no, this is, realistic. is realistic. Well, all of the punishments were not realistic because they're illegal. So it's like, no, this I, is I, I know make any, <laughs> if we're changing the law, we can make all of oh, them. Oh, yes. Cutting their the, limbs off. Do you guys, but that was, that was the thing. Like, it doesn't... 
it's just something you would want to do. It doesn't have to oh, be exactly. realistic. So then it's not, but they don't it have could, to be realistic. But I, yeah. but I think I that it could happen that. maybe someday in the future. I think my solitary in the dark could have been realistic. Hey, but, okay, yeah, so that, is, right? that is realistic. Solitary, it could happen. Solitary, okay. Well, a better question then is, you guys think that's a good idea to let the law change over an extremely dramatic scenario like, let's say, this one, and now the government... The fucking people that fuck up all the time, the judges that fuck up all the time, the juries yeah. that fuck up all the time, have this as an option to implement on the rest of society. No, I know, I know that it would be a really, really bad thing to do. It would be a to, dumb I know, idea. I'm I know, but, what but if a it was girl up, can like, dream. Like, what if it was up to like, like, uh, like American Idol vote? You know, you could vote. That's even worse. I That's would way yeah, rather. I, not I, I would not. Give I would not trust the, the plebeian no. fucking population <laughs> to, to vote on the fucking. I'm not gonna say, but yeah. Wait, what was your idea? The whole cutting of the limbs. I wanted to hear it. <laughs> you guys, you guys, Fucked not up. you guys, not to mention. I feel bad now. You guys, not you guys. I feel like an evil person. That I no, I do feel like an evil person too. But the thing is, not in this specific thing in this case. But there are some cases where, like, you hear one person's story, and then you hear the other person's story, and you're like, oh shit, wait, like. Now I don't know who was mm. the bad person. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't allow anybody else that doesn't do research to vote. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That whole American Idol shit is not going to yeah, work. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, but you can't you can't standardize other people doing their research. People don't do their research. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why I'm like this. I yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't. You can't. Hell no. Yeah. But the jury system, even though they pick randomly. Like mm, uh, you know, like that's true. And there's people who don't even want to do jury, so they don't care. They're just they like, just want to get out. Yeah, exactly. Quick, yeah. It's like let me bandwagon on this vote so I can get the fuck out. Yeah. Get, it's like oh y'all want to pick that. Yeah. Yeah. I have. A, think I've, about it. Who gets jury? Do it's everyone who doesn't want to be with there. jury? Does it have to be unanimous? Like everyone? Has yeah. To no, agree? it has to be. It has unanimous. all. Of oh, you have to it's, oh, it's, but the it's jury not six versus one. It can't be like a. It's always so been one person disagrees, you still have to keep going. Yeah. That's that's why that's why there's always like. That's there's why cases where there's hung juries because people who do care, then they're fighting for the right reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they, they won't budge. You and that shit like, the, please save that's me. That's why the Melly trial got dismissed. Mistrial. They couldn't come to a... They couldn't. I don't know. I've been following all those YouTube, like YouTubers that make breakdowns of the whole situation. Like he... Of he, Melly? Yeah, he's a sicko. Wait, of have Melly? you guys... This is kind of random, but do you guys know of the Menendez brothers? Yeah. They're still I locked do. up. The super familiar. Yeah. So they're they're two they're brothers, Lyle and Eric, and they were locked up because they they murdered their parents. And then they were just oh. and, and yeah, and people were saying like um they were like speculating. They were like maybe they killed the parents because the parents are rich. So they were like okay maybe if they kill them they could get the money or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But later on they found out that the dad has been graping the brothers mm -hmm. and that's why they they decided to kill him mm -hmm. and it, dude it was so it was so disgusting because what eric menendez was like i used to eat all my food with lemons and they were like why and they're like he would like he was like i drench all my food with lemons or lime or it was a lemons or lime do you know some some, citrus. Some, some yeah citrus. something yeah and then and then they were like why he was like because that way i wouldn't be able to taste my dad's semen oh my god yeah no, and then, and then, and then, it. yeah. And then he also, and then they asked him like, "Oh, but what if you run out of lemons?" And he was like, uh, "My mom kind of made sure that I didn't, but the sometimes mom, the mom knew. The, the mom, mom knew. knew. And then he, the thing is, he didn't know that the mom knew, but he knew once. Um, so Eric was crying, and then the mom was like, "Hey, like, you know, what's wrong?" And he was like, "You wouldn't understand." And the mom was like, "I, I do understand." He's like, "I know what's been happening." And then Eric was like, "At that moment, I." Like at that moment, my dad and my mom were the same people to me, and I think that's like it clicked, and then it's just mm. they shot they shot the parents. <sighs> but at the beginning, Wait, so, the, so did they get free? No, they're they're still in jail, and and that's, that's and, so and that's crazy. what I. Th so do you think that people like the Menendez brothers should be free because they did How commit the crime? How long is their sentence? I think it's for, sure. life. for life. For life? Oh, for life. should not. Weren't they in the 80s, Fuck. right? It was I think so. In the 80s, yeah. yeah. You but know what's fucked about those situations? It's like, 
they come out of prison and their lives are like there's this no yeah yeah like, how, like like the best thing that they can do is like the best thing they can do is their story gets really yeah. famous and then they they can there's capitalize on that but still yeah. it's still but like still, a fuck situation yeah it's still a fuck situation because um even now people are like they're guilty yeah. and 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 like I don't believe them like it's it's definitely they kill their parents because of the money and whatnot but you know yeah. it's like there's always two sides of the story how more likely they, that they were getting great how old are they when they killed the parents um. Six, I think they were no. I think they were older than that. Were they older? Yeah, the college older. age. I, I think, think they were college. I think they were like college twenties yes. or something. Yeah. Oh, when y'all timestamp, make sure you bleep every R word. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, but it's just it's just a fuck situation. I think it's super super sad. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's there's no perfect like system to yeah, there will never be a perfect system because yeah. it has to rely on some form of human uh, judgment and compassion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like. We're flawed. That's, that's every single person is flawed. There's no perfect person to judge. Yeah, that mm-hmm. case also broke my heart. But that's it why did. that's why I prefer death penalty because it's like like I don't like I believe you'll be judged later it's by like somebody far delete, more perfect. So. Delete like the death note. Yeah, so it's like get them out of here because I, like there's no there's too many laws that that like you know what I mean like that are in place for good reason but that hinder you from receiving just punishment. Yeah. So I would rather yeah you be punished in the next life. You guys, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I also think it's freaking dumb that peop- minors that commit... Atrocious acts? Yeah, are still tried as minors. I know. No, I think oh, it depends on the country and the laws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I think in this... But in most places, like, yeah. In, in a lot of places, yeah, they still get lower sentences or like they get like... There's a know. difference between being like a kid and like 16. You're like, yeah, you're not an adult, but like you know mm. the basic exactly. differences of right and wrong. Like exactly. Stealing, okay, fine, yeah, you're 16, you're dumb, like, whatever. Yeah. Doing that... When you're killing yeah. somebody and you're graping and doing all of that stuff, like, you... You America, do some shit America that even tries, adults don't do. America you know tries I mean? kids uh, as adults all the time, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not but, saying everything, but I'm saying that mm-hmm. if they don't try these kids as adults, I think it's kind of fucked up. Mm-hmm. Well, the, those kids, yeah. Especially one was 18... <laughs> 18. I can't uh, believe and he, he was wasn't an adult. Not an adult. Yeah. Well, it was 20. Yeah. yeah 20. But it's like you're so close oh, regardless missed, what they You do. missed another part of your presentation, by the way. Which one? Uh, Japan recently changed their... Oh, she said that. Oh, she I said, said that. that. She said that. Yeah. 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 I didn't hear it. He's, uh, he's pocket watching your presentation. Stop. <laughs> you're, sure. you're not supposed to see it. <laughs> Sorry for being a good friend. <laughs> That's what he gets for being a nice guy. That was a crazy... (laughs) That was a crazy... That was fucking... That that made me uncomfortable and sad. I know. No, I know. I'm... My butt's sweating. I'm pretty sure this episode's gonna get demonetized regardless. I know. I mean, if we bleep all the artwork, we we might be safe. We'll be okay. It goes deep and also... But I think it's an important thing to talk about. Like, not... Like, but just, you know, make people... I think it was an interesting topic. It made me think a lot. Yeah. But it was definitely fucking crazy. I felt he- really helpless, though. Like, I was like, what can I do? You can't. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I, I was thinking a lot about it, and I was just like, damn, there's nothing I could do. I felt really helpless. Start Dollar Shore Therapy. Let's start Dollar Shore Therapy. All right, sign us out. No, 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 not sign it. This part of the episode. Are you going straight into it? Yeah. So we're going to now do Dollar Store Therapy. So for those of you who wanted to skip <laughs> that part... Uh, that shit was gruesome. So if you have a weak stomach, a weak heart, whatever, don't fucking listen to that shit. Mm-hmm. But um, but now we're gonna start dollar store therapy where we take your submitted questions and uh, requests for advice, and the four smartest people in the world and Sahar will oh. answer them. <laughs> and Sahar, wow. Well. You're part of it. Listen, I built yeah. a career on this. On Discord and everywhere. Exactly. I think I'm very qualified to be here. <laughs> I second Let's that. Start Thank with you. Thank you, under the influence Instagram. Is this going in the YouTube video, or is this gonna be just cut? In? It's gonna be in the YouTube video, but the whole dollar short therapy will not mm. make it to the YouTube ah, video. Ah, I see. Teasing it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> What's your problem? Oh, this is a good one to start with. It's an easy one. How, tips on how to stop thinking about your ex when all you do is work, school, and only have like two friends. How do you stop thinking about them when that relationship slash the endorphins from falling in love was the most exciting part of your life? Break up. <laughs> it, they've already that broken up. <laughs> Sit down. The no, camera doesn't reach that high, man. Really? Yeah. They can't see this? No. Oh. Should we not move this down? Then? Nah. Maybe they they see it in the it. full shot, not in the centered shot for y'all. Oh. Break up. They're already broken up, man. Move on. 
<laughs> the, okay, moving you know, on from him. You, yeah, what's your on. advice? Um, Go to the so gym. they broke up, and and she she said that this was the most. Yeah, how do, so basically it's life. like, how do you stop thinking about an ex when that was, she's basically like, I have a boring ass life, literally two friends, schoolwork, and it's like, that was the most exciting thing that's probably ever happened to her. Let me just and tell you, you dog, there will be so much more exciting things in the future. Come no, on, man, I think I, that was the best you're ever going to do. Like, Vit, oh Vit, don't listen to him, okay? <laughs> the, I promise get you back. better will come oh, in no. life. I feel, like a lot of, I feel like a lot of the times we're just like, oh, this is the worst day of my life. But in reality, you, it, it, it might be, but it might be, but, but no, it's terrible, it might, but, it, but, in, but in my life, hey, whenever I thought, therapy. you guys, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're not. This no, is one dollar no, no. advice. No, because I've had a lot of bad shit happen, happen to me and I'm just like, dude, I'm not going to ever survive from this. But literally, I have, and I'm just like, you know what? In even if it is a bad day, there will be a good day. The she next day. Sahar, <laughs> <laughs> hey, start I? therapy. Oh, uh, uh, Sahar, I want to hear Sahar's answer. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Quite a lovely episode, I'd say. Took us on a roller coaster of emotions. Very for much. real. Yeah. So the other thing too is we're trying to do different ideas for the bonus content platform instead of just like sitting and talking. So if you have funny activities that we should do, drop it in the comments. Some good examples were uh, Disneyland on acid and um, <laughs> drinking for it. No. <laughs> oh, but I can't do that. I was going <laughs> drifting. Ooh, go karting or something like that. No, no, no. Actual drifting. Oh, I really want to do that. You can do subscribe that? to you the platform so we can afford to go do that. <laughs> yeah, we need um, the funds. Thank you for supporting the show, supporting the product, support the show. Get nectar, get super bonsai. All the information is in the description. If you truly love us, and yeah, tune in next time. Thank you. Oh, also follow thank Sahar you. everywhere. Yes. Uh, her stuff will be in the description. Thank you. If you like Sahar's opinions, she gives a lot of them on her All the socials. Time. Facts. And if you don't like them, comment down. No. If you don't like them, tell them to s stop having me on. Just kidding. Don't do that. I'm still going <laughs> <laughs> to We'll Make still have her on. And shove it up your yeah. Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Neck Your Heart Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you. Uh, uh, uh.